Have a good nap, do. Nappy, have a good nappy. I had a great nap earlier. Great now. Hope you sleep so well. Oh, hello, chat. Ah, hi. Hello. Hello. I had to do the bingo. I had to do the bingo. Abyss got first. Abyss. Good job. Hi, ah. Jancy. Are you going to bed too? Hmm. Go to bed too, Sansi. Go to bed. You go to bed too. <clears throat> Hello, my best. How are you today? Hello. I'm Prim. Welcome in. Hello. Oh, hi, Chai. Hi, Chai. Hope you have a good day, Chai. And hi, Witty. Thank you for the lurk. Welcome. Hi, Kaz. Welcome in. How are you? Hi, Sierra. Welcome. Hi, Jester. Welcome in. Thank you for lurky, Sierra. Be safe. Hi, Waifu. Waifu, you have 90 star bits. You have 90 star bits. You're so close. So, 10 more streams. 10 more streams. <gasps> Yay! Hello, everybody. Hi, Sandy Cutie. Hi, Lona. Welcome in. Welcome. How are you? I will not check the first red team. I refuse. <laughs> uh, you're here for the Christmas music anyways? I swear. I swear. Oh, I'm okay with the best getting it. <laughs> Enjoy your nap, dude. Hello, hello. I never charged my switch. Oppa! St Don't call me stinky. Don't call me stinky. Don't call me stinky. Hey everyone, it's fun to watch um, shrimp, play, shrimp play, play crab game. It is fun to watch shrimp play crab game. Yeah. You have a lot you need to get done on Warframe. Oh. Go get your shit done. Go get your shit done. Look at this cutie hat. I will be, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Oh, hydrate. Thank you for hydrate. Thank you. You eat beobus? Just sleep through the hot. Oh, good idea, Sansi. Good idea. Thank you for the shout out for the waifu and for cash. Should I get dominoes? Yes, you were said you didn't get it yesterday. You should get some. Yes, 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 yes. I'm dying but surviving? Why, Kaz? What's wrong? What's going on, baby? Hi, Spence. Hello. Welcome in. How you doing? Oh, Mimi crashed! No! Uh, no. You can't hear the music? Oh, shit. Wait, I know why. Oh. <laughs> mm, oops. You hear it now? Mm -mm. Quick one, memes is here. Whoop! I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those streams, is it? Ah, yeah. No. Oh no. <sighs> you guys want emotes like that of of my new model? 
<laughs> Who is that? Is that Gwen? Oh, that's Raylia. <laughs> what the hell? You guys don't want emotes like that, right? 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 Can you hear the music now? Can you hear it? You hear music? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the reason you couldn't hear it is because I, when I was re-recording the song, uh, the cover song, I had to set it so that it, it, like, I could hear it, but it wouldn't stay in the recording. <sighs> Which means you couldn't hear it in the stream yesterday, but we didn't really listen to a lot of music, so that's fine. Hi, Yami! Welcome in, Kitty. How are you doing? <clears throat> You just had a little work today, Abyss. I saw the video of the hummingbird! So pretty! Let's see, where's our Christmas music? <laughs> Stuffy nose? Oh. And the joys of having a fan body. Ah! Kill it with fire! Uh. No. Hi, Melania. Welcome. Welcome in, Kitty. How you doing? What? What? I used to not like egg mode. This is true. What happened? What happened, dude? You used to hate Taylor Swift. You used to hate egg mode. What happened? What? What happened? <laughs> you have a formed individual. Yeah, but why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Got a double shot, took a shower to help with the nose, getting some nasal spray. <sighs> nice flush. Give nice flush out. Good, good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm feeling better than yesterday. Yesterday I had a very, very bad, like, I think it was a tension headache. I don't know. Uh, it was very, very bad. Um, and I did not sleep last night at all, but I had a very solid freaking nap. Oh, Scholarly Egg is back. <laughs> um, I had a very solid nap, which, which made me feel a lot better. Um, my head is not that bad. I feel better today, so I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to hear you're doing good as well. I have less than five minutes to make more egg. No, I don't want any more egg gifts. I don't want any more. Four a.m. sky is wild. I <laughs> know. I was up at four a.m. Oh my god, and then I went, I finally went back to sleep, and then I was up at like 7.30, and I was like, bitch, can I just go to sleep until my alarm goes up at 9? What the fuck? Oh my god. Leave me alone. <laughs> Taylor Swift leads to egg. What? Dude, just going through a character arc, and we love that for them. You know what, this is true, but... Why, why does egg have to be involved in that? <laughs> Why does Scholarly Egg have to be involved in that? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, at 4 a.m. I went on the Discord and like caught up with everybody and then I was like, is anybody gonna like call me out for being up this early? <laughs> and then, and then I scrolled through Twitter for a while and I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to go back to sleep. I'm ready to go back to sleep, Evie. Thank you for shining my egg, Spence. Thank you. Pretty sure it's a cold. Oh no. Or allergies. Plus period. Ugh. Yeah, Kaz, I hope you feel better soon. You were dead at 4 a.m. I'm so happy for you, friend. I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't take my NyQuil last night, so I was coughing a lot. But maybe that kept waking me up. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I also wish to know why egg. <laughs> Fuck. I was awoke at five. It's over. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sandy, you going eepy? I love you. Mwah. Have a good sleep. Stay cool, baby. I don't know what sleep is. Me either, unless I take my NyQuil. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, the co I have to fix the I have to fix the mix it up thing, but yeah. I was gonna put the I was gonna put the ace colors on the other hair. I forgot the other hairstyles. Since you guys like the colors so much. Oh my god, all of my toes just cracked. All every single one of my toes. Good night, kitty. Good night. <clears throat> My brain frog, uh, my brain frog, <laughs> my brain frog, bruh, uh, my brain frog probably didn't realize it was 4am either, true. Three people don't need sleep. Are you an android? Are you a robot? Brain has been blah the past couple days, aww. It's not Christmas music! We love you, Sansi. Have a good EP. <clears throat> Today we're playing Zenless! Yeah! Yeah! We're gonna do quick dailies, and, and then we're gonna finish Nekomata's story, and then we're gonna do the rest of Chapter 2, hopefully. That's the plan. That's the plan. Fly! Yeah! I've been working on skills. I have, um, Ellen has all of her skills. I believe Sokaku has all of her skills. We gotta do some leveling up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Draco, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Ace colors! Yeah, you guys really like, like the ace colors. That's why I said I was gonna put them on all the, uh, on all the hairstyles. So then you can have them on any hairstyle you want, not just the braids. Just brain frog things, yeah, honestly. <laughs> I haven't been able to sleep since I was born. Yeah. Sleep is sleep sleep is like a good night's sleep, I feel like is honestly like a luxury. It's like a luxury. I feel like people who just lay down and go to sleep and like sleep for eight to ten hours, they don't understand how good they have it. They just they just live in ignorant bliss they just don't fucking understand how good they have it and i'm i we're just sitting over here like you cheeky bastard you cheeky bastard you think you're so cool because you can just go to sleep and sleep properly like a normal human <laughs> because if it's not your aching 20 year old bones making you una unable to sleep then it's your fucking anxiety brain firing all 2000 cylinders at once and you and and if it's not that it's the brain fog and if it's not that then it's something else and if it's not that then it's something else and it's like bitch i just want to fucking sleep <laughs> I have to be up in three hours to work, please. <laughs> like, oh my god, give me a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh man. <sighs> Can I sleep especially during heat? Oh. Yeah, no. Lost that link? What link? Clip? Want me to get it for you? I got it. Copy link. No, it's fine. Too bad. Here it is. <laughs> By night, I will bring it as like, let's just speedrun shit right now. It'll be fine. Yeah, speedrun as in take the whole fucking night. Very rough, but at least um, I found something that helps. <clears throat> oh, going through every medicine by your teen years? Oh, prim. Just to, just, just to help you sleep. Or is that for like a multitude of things? Just on the max dose of clon uh, clonidine? An adult dose? Gee. 
Okay, I found something that helps. Oh, that's good. I don't get um, much even when I do sleep. I have to be awake for 4 a.m., which is annoying. That is annoying. That's very early to be awake. Got myself medicine and tissues as well as a lunch. <gasps> what did you get for lunch? And a cookie? Mmm. Do I feel better? I'm glad. glad. Bitch, I just want to sleep. You had all day for this. Right? Right? It's like, what, what about when I was doing nothing for... What about when I was staring at the wall for three hours in the afternoon? Why? What about that time? <laughs> like, what about when I was doing that? You couldn't have been around when I was doing that? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, man. <sighs> Teriyaki noodles? Yum! I had an English muffin with some peanut butter for lunch. Sleep, ADHD, autism, high blood pressure, depression. Fuck. That's a lot to try and, and uh, medicate and then also not like <clears throat> make it so like one cancels out the other and all that shit, so... It must have been really hard for him. I'm also trying to, to find meds that work with my anxiety, depression, and uh, migraines, which has been a big pain in the ass. I also find that, like, it's very frustrating because I'll find something that works, and then either whatever has been working for my anxiety and depression or whatever has been working for my migraines, um, I'll build a tolerance to, and they'll stop working. <laughs> which I'm like cool and then we have to find a new medication and then I have to like redo the whole process of like finding a medication that works like every couple of years I'm, I'm like <laughs> so frustrating so frustrating but then if you don't take medication it's like Your whole life is just a mess. I feel like ADHD is pretty much one of the reasons we suddenly um, can't sleep at night. Yeah, it's probably really hard to have ADHD, honestly. There's nothing wrong with you, Pram. There's nothing wrong with you. I love you just the way you are. Here we are getting noodles! Uh, yum, 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 yum. You're welcome. I don't know how I got through high school unmedicated. Yeah. I think... I mean, I barely made it through high school. <laughs> I, tr I tried. <laughs> I tried to not make it through high school. Ooh. But, uh... You know. <clears throat> I know, I know, I get it, but I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> it doesn't, that doesn't mean that you are any less of a person. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh no, I'm making a mess. The heck is my freaking cleaner? All the way over there. Frick. No, not on my desk mat. Not on my limb grave dust mat. Bitch.
No. It was just a it was just dripping down my water bottle. I caught it like right before. We good. I just need a little loving. <laughs> Cass. <laughs> oh, that girl. Now I hate it. <laughs> yeah, you can remove the child proof thingy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have the same one that we do in Canada, but let me see if I can find a picture. <laughs> have you tried a hammer? <laughs> Canada um prescription bottle. I think your guys' is... look. Yeah, your guys' is look like that. Ours look different. Maybe if I put BC. Maybe it's just BC. It don't look like that. I just have a different cap. And it's like a. You have to like push a part in. And then, so hard to describe. You'd have to see a picture. I'd have to take a picture of mine and then, like, block out the, the name and shit. Don't want to twist this thing it's so weird. I did it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hi! Hi, Argo! Hi, welcome in! Hi! Yeah, I see the push down and twist thing. It looks annoying as fuck. <laughs> it looks so annoying. Like, if you're sick and weak, how are you supposed to- How are you supposed to do that? Hi, welcome! How are you doing today? I'm trying to find what my prescription bottle looks like. But I don't think there's gonna be a picture! Bow, 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 bow. Mine is like a flip open cap, not a twist off cap. <laughs> I don't think there's a picture. <laughs> it's Jover, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I guess you'll never know. <laughs> It's still not working? Oh god, Kaz. I got a bunch of stuff done in the apartment? Yay, let's go! Let's go! <clears throat> Those damn bread bites are to die for? <gasps> Wife, we got your dominoes? Let's go! Never used this brand, so major confusion? Uh oh. Now I'm just chilling, doing some program programming! Yo! Programming is for the big brain. For the big brain. Oh, we got ads coming up in a little bit. I'm sorry, gamers. <clears throat> I 
Look at that mossy icon. Icon. Why did I call it an icon? It's an emote. <laughs> Parmesan bread bites. Yum. Oh, I never did my hydrate. I was just cleaning up the mess from the hydrate. Here we go. Ah, gamer subs. Not sponsored, but soon will be sponsored. <laughs> Lint! Hi, Lint! How cute! The Parmesan bread bite sounds so good. Sounds so good. When I stand like this, I look naked. <laughs> Because the braids cover the straps of the tank top. <laughs> hey, yo. Guys, do we all hate CVS? They always take so long to refill your meds, and when they do, they tell you it hasn't been refilled. Bruh. The audacity. Naked <laughs> cat. Opa. <laughs> Opa. You don't have meds? Hmm, have you maybe considered getting some of this? <laughs> Your bullying is kind of out of hand. <laughs> Never! What? Grr. <laughs> I've been to the specific domino so many times, even the new people know who I am when I pull up the <laughs> waifu. Uh, so cute. Yeah, consider yourself lucky, honestly. <clears throat> meds so annoying. My mom went and picked up my meds because I kept forgetting to stop by Walmart to, to grab them because I refilled them over the phone. And, uh... <clears throat> Okay, Prim, thank you for Nookies. And, uh, <clears throat> so she grabbed them. And then I was like, they might, they're, they're, I know they're covered, but I don't know if they're like fully covered or what. So just let me know if I owe you anything. And she's like, okay. So she, she came home. I went downstairs and she was like, oh, you're in so much trouble. Like, I could tell she was joking. She's like, you owe me so much money. And I was like, what? Uh, she's like, look at your receipt from the pharmacy. And it was like two dollars and like sixty-eight cents. <laughs> I was like, bruh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna go broke. Oh man. And then it was funny, like later later last night, um I was making my dinner, my pasta, and she was like, Did you send me the two dollars? And I was like, She's like, You didn't send me the two dollars, did you? I was like, no. She was like, oh, okay, good. I was going to say, that's so freaking stupid if you sent me the $2. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I didn't. Fine. <clears throat> Never been diagnosed with something um, to need them. Would be surprised if I do um, need to be medicated. Honestly, I feel like I feel like everyone should be on some kind of, maybe if it's not even prescription meds, um, even if it's like, um, what's the word? Like organic? Mm, natural like natural based some kind of natural based like or prescription like it doesn't matter some kind of mood stabilizer or some kind of like i don't know just just something to help with um and just like general like what are they called you know those 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 um Multivitamins. Multivitamins. I feel like everyone should take multivitamins. Like, everyone should be on some kind of mood stabilizer just to, just to be, you know, like, like, good. Just so, just so like, everybody's good. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's never gonna happen, but, like, you know. I should probably be on meds, but I don't like taking tablets. Yeah. It's, sometimes, there's some that I take... I've never had issues taking them, but for some reason lately, I have been struggling to um, take them. I'm like freaking choking on them, and I'm like, what the fuck? 
But I learned a trick on TikTok. If you squeeze your left thumb, um, if you like ball up your um, your fist and squeeze your left thumb, it like removes your gag reflex, and that has helped. <laughs> when I go to places for food, I make it a point to ignore people. Yeah, those things that they won't let me eat if I stare around. Yeah, yeah, that's why I use my phone a lot um, to like distract me and stuff because yeah, I have very very severe social anxiety. And like yesterday, not yesterday, the di yeah, yesterday, yesterday when I was at work for a little bit, uh, well, I went to one run, I went to an okay tire and I cried on my way there. <clears throat> so I knew, I knew that like my eyes were probably red and I was like, just don't make eye contact with anybody and you'll be fine. <laughs> so I like, I went in and I put the part on the shelf and I had to like go in to like not the office part but like the main room and put the piece of paper in like the receiving box thing and the guy was there at the desk and he said he said thank you and I said you're welcome like really fast and my voice cracked and I have never like fucking sped walked out of somewhere so fast <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna cry again. Fuck me. <laughs> I was just like, I was so embarrassed. I was just like, get me out of here, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I felt so bad. I felt so bad. Uh, but I didn't want him to be like, are you okay? Because I would have just burst into tears. Because I was, I would have been like, no, fam, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> Oh, you know what I mean, but... Ugh. Two dollars Canadian is like three pennies. THREE PENNIES?! What the- Rude. You did it, Kaz! Yay! <laughs> I almost broke it. Being heck and feral. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Good job. 20 cc's of Sky Stank will set you right- Hey, yo! What the frick? That's useful. Yeah, the thumb trick. I don't know if it, like, removes your gag reflex, but, like, it helps you... It doesn't, like, cause it to trigger as easily. Have you ever learned something like that? There's a girl on TikTok who, like, teaches you, like, random facts about your body. <laughs> I need that reflex. I want to go jam? Go jam, waifu. Go, go, go. Hi, puppy! Hello! Welcome! How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you, puppy? Hello. Hello. I had to force myself to sit and stay inside. Our local car is junior. Um, I had to wear my headphones and zone out. Mm. There's too many people. Can't even eat breakfast biscuits in peace. A little fucking panicking. But you did it, dude. You did it. I'm proud of you. Loopy! <laughs> loopy, puppy. Are you feeling loopy today, puppy? I want to go gym with you, but my anxiety, oh, I am loopy seeds. <laughs> Why are we talking about gag reflexes? Oh, because we were talking about taking meds, like larger, larger meds and pills and tablets and stuff. <clears throat> and the book got me, I'm feeling yummy. Let me pull the edible gummies. I'm feeling yummy. I'm feeling yummy. Gummy full of edible gummies. I'm feeling yummy. I need loopy seeds. I need some THC, some CBD. <laughs> this guy wants the real answer to how I am. Oh, puppy, you're not doing well. You don't have to say anything in chat, but just know that I love you and I hope you can. Relax and vibe and have a good time in stream. The only thing I've heard the thumb trick being used for is the B of the J- Oh my god. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, puppy. I'm so sorry, Angel. I love you. Love you so much. It's okay, baby. Okay. 
Oh, the huggies. Oh, the huggies. Can I write the thumb trick off as a business expense? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm sending you all the love and hug, baby. It's okay, Angel. Was it meant to be? It wasn't meant to be. You'll find another who will care for you. I promise. You deserve all the love in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll find someone even better. Whatever, you a hoe anyways. Yeah, that person was a hoe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, that person didn't deserve you. I don't know what happened, but... <clears throat> Yeah, someone, someone who doesn't want, doesn't want Poppy or doesn't like Poppy. Uh, uh, trash. Trash. Absolutely not. Poppy is a gem. Poppy's a gem and Poppy needs to be treasured and loved like the finest gem to to Mater Laura Croft has ever fucking found. Uh, mm, hello? <laughs> if that's not what you're doing, then get out. <laughs> oh, did you want the last song, Jester? It was the it was the opening song to ah oh, fuck I don't remember what this what the anime is called. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. All my starlings should be treasured. Poppy is also the name of my pup. Yeah. So we stand all Poppy in my house. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> what? That's going to bother me. What is that anime called? Anime about gambling. Let's go gambling. Kakiguri. <laughs> Kakiguri. I think that's how you say it. It's spelled like this. Kake Beauty. It's filmed. It's, 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 I say it's filmed. It's shot like a fucking horror anime. It's insane. <laughs> but it's really good. It's not a horror anime. But it's really good. I definitely recommend. Yeah, the gambling anime high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No worries, Poppy, no worries. Yeah, go go love on Mimi. Go love on Mimi. Any season three of Kakiguri? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> horror or horror? <laughs> <laughs> In a music mood, are we? I'm always in a music mood. I love music. Am I a suggestion? Nah, we're just vibing. Okay, kitty. Horror or horror? Horror. Like a horror movie. They have those creepy close-ups of like eyes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like guns and shit. I'm like, what? What is this anime? But it it was good. It was a good watch. <clears throat> and then there was that viral TikTok sound. I can't remember what song they used at the beginning. Uh. But now every time I hear that song, I always think of it with, um, every time I, I, every time I hear that song, now I think of it, it's like the, it's like the beginning of a song and then it, it plays like a voice line of every character. And it was, su it was such a big trend for like cosplayers and stuff. <laughs> Mm 
The horrors of horror new season animation just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell asleep on the keyboard. Yeah, dude, I thought you were gonna take a cat nap. Get out of here, go take a little nappy. Mwah, I love you. I will say I've seen some people accuse Kekagator of basically softcore teasing. I mean, yeah, it's pretty borderline. <clears throat> There's some pretty messed up scenes, I would say, yeah. I feel like, um, ba back a, uh, fuck, what's that other anime called? I didn't finish it, um... Anime girl with the scissors. Her. She has purple hair. Oh, Mana Managatari? No, Mana Managatari. There's like several different girls and like one guy. <clears throat> the one girl has like a, a school like 10,000 school supplies under her skirt and we're here like what <laughs> that one that one has uh that one has a lot of very strange scenes as well um and i think that's like borderline like <laughs> sus as well <clears throat> i was enjoying it but i just like kind of got distracted and didn't never finish it that might sound strange. Yeah, let me see. Monogatari series. <clears throat> the plot centers on Koyomi Araragi, a third year high school student who survives a vampire attack and finds himself helping, helping girls involved with a variety of apparitions, ghosts, beasts, spirits, and other supernatural phenomena, which often serves as proxies for their emotional and mental issues. Yeah. Proxy. Wow, speaking of proxies. <laughs> But yeah, it's very, um, yeah, oh my god, see, look at this picture, hold on. Um, can I just do, like, window capture? See, I remember this scene, oh, let me go on this side. I remember this scene. She lifted up her skirt, and all these fucking school supplies fell out, and I was like, what is a happening? <laughs> what is this fucking anime? <laughs> but yeah, all these different, yeah. There's like a cat girl too. Yeah, kitty girl. Kitty girl. Then there's, there's like, weird scenes where, like, he's, like, grabbing boobs and stuff. It's kind of weird. Dommy mommy scary. Oh. Dommy mommy steps on you. Ooh. And then her scary snake eats you. Ooh. Scary. Scary. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I my, love it. This is my twin. Cute. And then there's this weird girl who like has a fetish with her teeth being brushed. Like it, there's so many like just like weird scenes. Like I've just seen a lot of like clips. I'm like, what? <laughs> and so that's why I started watching it because I'm like, I need context. Like, I need context. What is happening here? But then, like I said, I just kind of got distracted and stopped watching. Yeah, it's interesting. The sister? Damn. These are the five. Five main girls, I guess. That's his sister? 
Hey girl, let me brush those chompers while well, hey, if she's not gonna do it herself. <laughs> Gotta get those clean! Yeah, very, very interesting. <clears throat> Mental illness the anime got it, I guess so. <laughs> When I hear the Kakigiri opening, I for some reason thought it was a different opening from one of my favorite an oh one of my favorite games. Oh, okay, okay, okay. yeah, definitely share it. She she needed those. <laughs> she needs all those staples and protractors and stuff. <laughs> As a high school student, she needs those. Way too many. So like, where is she keeping all that? <laughs> But the animation is very nice and clean, and there's a lot of like action scenes and stuff that that are really cool. And from what I've seen, anyways, that that seems really cool. So that's why I was like, I, I, that's why when I saw it, I wasn't I wasn't like, this is weird. I'm not gonna watch it. That's why I was like, this is weird. I'm interested. I need to know the context, and I want to know all. I want to know more about it. <laughs> that's why I wasn't like, you know, <clears throat> dentist love her. Her teeth are clean. Get a pencil pouch and a backpack like everyone else, not the human pouch <laughs> Pencils right up the ass. Holy sheesh. Oh, busy. you made a cute gift. Oh, Disca Discaea? Is that how you say it? <clears throat> Heard of that. Look at that. Oh, poor shrimp keeps crashing. Mimi's crashing. Everybody's crashing. Maybe it's Twitch. Oh, I hope I don't crash. He keistered it. <laughs> Not the keister, bro. Not the keister. Am I taking all the Twitch leg? Nah, nah. I'm a pop, pop, pop. Let's game, gamers. Disgaea. Disgaea? 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 Is that correct? We gaming. This guy, yeah. Yay! This guy, Ia? <clears throat> this guy, Ia! <laughs> this guy, Ia. That works. Jester's tired of my shit. Okay, I have one day and ten hours to get this last level. I think I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. Coffee, scratch card. Okay, we gotta go home. How many pulls you got? 
Platz. This, this is... I don't like this place. Grr. I don't like this place because the newsstand does not have a pupper. It has a stinky man! Ew! I know, disgusting! Who wants that? What can I get for you? Who the frick wants that? Nobody. Uh. Oh, I wanted to go through my distress. You know, is not a must, but a calm and relaxed mindset sure is. Have you guys been doing this? I got all the bonuses! Yay! Why couldn't they just give another pupper? I know! Like... Okay, gotta open the store today. You know what? You know what I like about this game is that it really feels like... Like, for me... For me, this really feels like I really feel like I'm I'm okay. Belle in the sense of like, okay, I have to I have like I have to go open the store. I have to go to see the dog at the newsstand. I have to go get my coffee or my tea, and like like if in, I feel like it really feels like. Like my my daily thing, like my little daily thing. It's something I enjoy doing. Yeah, her little daily routine it makes me happy. Then I'm gonna be at my abyss. Okay. Time for some care. I'll be Okay, so Ellen. Is doing good this i have to wait till this requires agent level 45. how terrible is that go so do these so it lends as pumped as she can be you need some tender love and care Oh, you need the red arm thing, okay, and some ether, and you hmm. I bet it's simple. I like that. Me too, Jester. Me too. I bet it's gonna be in the sewer with the rat. <laughs> I will and I'll love every second of it. You are unhinged. <clears throat> Candlebar Beauty still hasn't come home. No. will come home and ice and I need ether <clears throat> we all need our own Disney princess moment right we believe 
Yeah, this is my new team. <laughs> I kind of dished Corrin, I feel bad. Ready for action. New voice line. I feel like I haven't heard these before. <laughs> I don't want to spend money. Mm. Corin will be okay. I hope so. I miss her. I don't think I would get the daily membership again. Yeah, I don't think I would either. Simply because, like, they, it only gives you 90 a day. And I feel like, I think I said this before, but like, I like at least give me one pull a day, like... It seems like crazy that they wouldn't even give you like one pull a day. Take this. You don't get, um, the days you miss. Oh, really? I definitely log in every day, but that sucks. If you miss a day, you don't get. Glenn! Hello, Glenn! What's your name? How you, baby? How are you? Are you not streaming today, Kitty? Opa. My bad. Oh, my bad again. Oh, you are. Okay, okay. Let's hurry it up. I feel like you usually stream sooner than this, no? I can also become a Oh, for minutes? Okay. Hello. How are you doing today? Okay, let's see if that's enough. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Is your Oni maxed out? Almost. Almost. We're getting some stuff for her. Not that. Weekly experience limit? What? Of course I noticed this now at the end. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just one of these, but it's like, I wanted to make it! 
A 32. Up it. Three. I have three of these. Five of these. Do some gamba. Ooh, an A! Hey. Ah, penguin! My penguin boo's gonna be popping! Yay! Yeah, I've been saving my pulls for stream. These are gonna be boring. Yeah, I'm saving for Jane. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm saving for Jane. I wanna get like multiple Janes. Oh! Hey, you. Yo! I would have loved a Grace. Or Lycon, or like literally any other person I don't have yet. But I will take a Kuleida because I use her all the freaking time. I use her all the time. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 33 for Jane so far. I'm saving up. Touch my tail. Did you? Hey, don't look down on me. I would never. Yeah, I don't have any of her upgrades. Let's go. Oh, after the second or fourth hit of Kalita's basic attack or her enhanced attack, quickly use a special attack. Oh, nice. Increased days. Okay, 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 okay. Second or fourth hit. Okay. So many bins. The change hacker ultimate. Great. He gains a shield. I didn't even realize that. So if he has a shield. Oh, okay. Entering combat or switching in reapplies the shield effect. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was gonna say, I shouldn't switch out, but if it uh, comes back into effect when he comes back in, then it's fine. She's so pretty. <clears throat> I need a Kuleida, she's fun. One more? One more what? I have another pull? For Oni. Five out of six. Yeah. MB, baby.
Yeah. One more. I think it's cute when there's... It like that that's cute <laughs> when I have it all complete I can be picky That's cool for him. Have you gotten any of the wallpapers yet? No. The only character story I've done is um Good day, Proxy. Soldier eleven. I shall follow your orders. Huh? Standing Is it work time? Is food included? No, sorry, baby. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna get a couple of arm things for her. Huh? Is something the matter? What's the matter is that you're too attractive. <laughs> and uh, and then we'll do Nekomata's uh, story, the rest of her story. I love the black and white with one color, so impactful. Yeah. I like highlighting their, their face. Avoid it. Out of the way. Like the job's not done. Ow! It's oh. <laughs> those end screens are nice. <laughs> Use the rest of my energy. I thirsty. I thirsty. I apologize. <laughs> Look at her cute little tail. Avoid it. Yes, come into my vortex. I don't. Yo! Bye, cutie! Hi, my buddy! I've been invaded by the Shrimperium! Oh, fuck. It's so Joker. 
It's so jobber! Welcome in, welcome in! Hello! Hello, gamers! Justice always prevails! Oh, shit. Compressor K22! Maximum firepower! Up your ass! <laughs> I'm just shooting him right in the ass! Retargeting! <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All the shoe right in the screen. Yo, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, readers. Welcome, readers. Welcome. Yo, welcome in. Welcome. How was the rest of your run today? How was it? How was it? Hello, Jester. Hello, Gwen. Hello, Serif. Hi, Gaiden. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I decided to sequence break out the grove into Flotsam and then take the back entrance into the grove to fight um, Hikia. It was perfect. Yo, pro freaking gamer over here. What the heck? Oh my god. Breaking the game. <laughs> also, stream died eight times. Rip. Rip. What the frick? hate this for you. I actually hate this for you. I'm so sorry. That sucks. That sucks. Every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes? That seems way too scheduled. It must be for some reason. It must be for some reason, no? Can you blame OBS? A Jeep. 30 minutes on the dot. It what? Wasn't it like every time there was ads? Maybe it has something to do with the ad. I thought maybe there was something to do with the ads. Yeah, that's what I kind of felt like. Right? But yeah, I have my. I can upgrade my penguin. That's crazy. You, you know where to find me. Huh. Did I... Can I make these stronger than level 30? Like, I don't know. I do use this guy. I should probably upgrade this guy. And I use the double boo. Oh, do I not have enough? Oh, I do. Slay. I do got butler! And I'm gonna get another one soon. In like 20 pulls or something. Upgrading the penguin needs so cute though. He's so cute. <clears throat> you can once you level up on Internet or something? Wait, what did I ask? <laughs> Penguin Boom, my boy. They're all so cute, man. Uh, I use this guy a lot, too. Now, now I don't have enough. Now I really don't have enough. I think as for other S ranks I would want... Maybe this other Ice guy, but I have Penguin guy, so like, maybe not? Burning or shocked? Mm. And physical? He's a good, like, overall guy to have. Because then it's like, no matter what team you have, you this guy is. Yeah, I do have the ether one. It's this guy. The devil boo. This is Nicole's. Well, it's not Nicole's, but it's the cunning hairs one, yeah. This guy is fire, but I have a fire one. It's this guy. The cry boo. This must be the... It must just be a stronger one. S rank ether is really good. Electric. Yeah, the, the S ranks are probably just stronger versions of... 
Oh, here it is. The mini black hole. Days. Wow, nice. I use all the gung boos because God. <laughs> uh, but Shrimpy, I know, um, I don't know if you're going to be streaming with Gwen, um, but definitely go rest up and relax um, after your stream. I appreciate you coming in. Bang Volver. Physical. He's cute. <clears throat> Recovery HP generates a shield, increases energy regen. Interesting. This is like a, a very serious support one. I hadn't unlocked the bang boos when I made planet boo. This is the bang boo that was almost the same ability as the fan one. This one? A 30 minute lunch sounds good. <clears throat> for this one. Uh, this one. Yeah, this one. I mean, they're not really that close. Black hole. Yeah, of course, Shrimpy. I was lurking the whole time until I started stream. Floribu, okay, that's the support one. Avocado boo shoots juice bullets. Oh, cover cover HP. Interesting. Why does he look so sad in the picture down there? <laughs> they both have the black hole effect. Oh. Not anomaly, mine is damage boost. Oh. I mean I think that's have fine. But... And please! Come again. Oh, leg. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do a damage boost coffee. Greetings. What can I get for you? No, I didn't see any bosses I haven't seen yet. Sometimes stopping to take a break can help you go further. Actually sucks enemies in so you can use Ellen's ult. Make a good combo. Oh nice. <gasps> a request. Sigh. Those celebrity couples on the big screen are always so fleeting. Sometimes I wake up in the morning only to find another couple's broken it off. I don't believe in those made-up love stories anymore. Are there any films adapted from real-life love stories? That's the kind of love I envy. A love story? He wants romantic? Filmed by images of old civilization. Stunt pilot decides to perform a highly risky stunt move for his fiance. Tragically loses his life. Discovering that the engagement ring allows her to return to the morning of the accident. That's not really real life, is it? Lost her memory. Various stories that unfold in the strange city. Mm. The more movies I have, the more difficult it becomes to recommend to people. Last flight or oh sweetie, which one do we pick? Actually, oh, I read that. German meow is cuddling. Oh, baby. They had allegedly patched that sequence break that I used, but I didn't notice the difference. Oh, how funny would it be if I go around the back and kick in his door, back door? <laughs> oh, sweetie. Okay. What do you think? I can tell the love story isn't real just by reading the intro! Just start! <laughs> Somehow they were correct. <laughs> I mean, it's 
it's nice when the customers can't yell at you, right? Even if they do, it's not real, right? Cheers. Okay, so we did all this, right? Mole in the hole. We need Nekomatas! Whoa. Okay, cat and mouse game number two. Yeah, that's how you know it's a game. Nobody's screaming at you. Yeah. What? I asked for a real star rate. <laughs> Bitch, calm down. <laughs> I got a message from Nekomata. She wants to meet at the alley entrance. Maybe she has an update on the last commission. Mia. Ah, kitty. Oh. Uh. Critics these days. That's a her problem. <laughs> the other proxy is here. Yeah, I just got here. We were discussing tactics. As you can see, the situation has become clearer, yeah? I never expected this to be the culprit. Spreading rumors, laying down bait, and luring in the enemy. What a cunning move. Mm hmm That's the experience you pick up from the years on the streets, yeah? I wouldn't have resorted to this if the situation wasn't this dire. I knew we could count on you, Nekamata. Roxy, are you ready? I want to strike first to avoid any more sleepless nights. I'm with you. One, two, three! What are you guys talking about? For two days in a row now, the barbecue beef has gone missing from the bowl of noodles while I was, wasn't paying attention? Oh my god, Wise, what are you talking about? <laughs> I bumped into Nekomata earlier and she helped me get to the bottom of this. Turns out the culprit is this cat! And that cat deserves the barbecue beef! Shut the hell up and get your a different lunch, Wise! What's the problem? Oh my god. Isn't this customer service? I am a customer who needs to be served. You are a customer who needs to be punched in the face and kicked out and put on the ban list. Bye bye. <laughs> We're planning a sneak attack on its belly to make up for the pieces of barbecue beef I've lost out of uh, out on over the last two days. I thought you were talking about a commission. Oh, I almost forgot to meow. I came here to talk to you two about following up on the commissions today. Let's talk about the details in your store. I'm going to die from exhaustion if I keep standing here, meow. After the three of them take turns stroking the cat's belly for a while. <laughs> they return to the video store and Nekomata recounts her meeting with Lolly. Damn shrimp banned from local video These store. These gangsters Project. have been looting lost ether resources all over the hollows for quite some time. Project. Their methods are cruel and they've amassed a substantial fortune. No precinct in any jurisdiction has been able to pin them down because they roam around. So the case remains unsolved. Bunch of fucking so here's loser cops. First of all, we put out the word on Internaut that there's a large commission to recover ether resources. The commission which you and the proxy got involved with last time. Then, we use ether resources from our evidence room as bait and set a trap by placing them in the hollow. <clears throat> You're blacklisted. I'm not talking about your eye when I'm done with you. And then, whoop! <laughs> Exactly. Finally, we wait for the gangsters to take the bait and then apprehend them all inside the hollow. Wow, that sounds That's pretty solid. Then what? Okay, well, well, then, then we officially adopt this as our battle plan. Oh, well then, then, it seems like you have a real talent for organizing plans. And that's about it. It's just, Eleventh Precinct also wants in, and I've been promoted to head up the joint operation. Why did you say just? You're starting to make me nervous. Brother. You see, only the 11th Precinct has access to the ether resources and evidence. I'm about to go undercover into the hollow to set up the trap with two strangers from the General Affairs Department who I've never even met before. And my weakness will be exposed the second we run into any ethereals, and they won't exactly help me hide it. And then once my boss hears about it, I'm betting once again I'll... So what? It's not like I can go meet them in your place. Cry and beg all you want, but I'm not gonna do anything that risky. Uh, uh, of course. <laughs> I'd never dream of getting you to do such a thing, Miss Nekomata. As a case consultant, I just need you to take care of any ethereals along the way so we can safely lay our bait. Case consultant? Sounds more like a bodyguard. Just call it what it is, buddy. Not at all. Think of it as being temporary, unofficial personnel for oh, public security. Oh, 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 oh. I've already filled in everyone. My back God. The of a case consultant who will be helping out with the operation. Uh, it's really stressful 
were working on an operation alongside this many officers. Kind of regret agreeing to help you. Oh, please don't say that. This operation really needs you, Miss Nekomata. What if we use remote comms to keep in touch, and you can help me from a little further away? Then you won't have to talk to the other officers. Hmm... If that's an option, then I'll consider doing it. By the way, this case consultant thing, is there anything else I need to know about? As you're effectively temporary unofficial personnel for public security, Jesus, you'll need to comply with basically the same rules that current officers do. No thanks. You'll be fine. You just need to memorize this simple 476 page new officer training Absolutely manual. Absolutely not! Uh, is something wrong? Mm -mm. I know what to do. So just leave everything to me. Back to the present in the video story. That's not going to happen. And so that's what happened when I met Ollie just now. That's not going to happen. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the idea of doing anything inside the hollow. We'll arrest them inside that constantly changing labyrinth. Yeah, well, it's not like we'll lose them or anything. <laughs> god. So did you end up memorizing all 476 pages? Hang on. Did you memorize that near 476 pages? Of course not. Who'd want to learn how to be a public security officer by reading all that? All I have to do is work with the officers from public security. It's no big deal. I'll just brush up on a few things beforehand. Just read the spark notes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's still some time before Ollie's mission, so I'll go steady nearby and give you a buzz when it's time to go. She's gone. She said she was going to study nearby. I don't exactly know how, though. Thank you for the alert, Kaz. Belle, why don't you go check on her? After all, you'll be going into the hollow together, so it's best we know what's going on. Watch her, like... Just, like, I don't know, gambling in the corner or something. Hanging out with the other cats. Nooping! To be honest, just have faith in with the book and they can whisper the answer to you. True! We have a quick pamphlet for you to read before your officer training is complete. Hands of the Bible! <laughs> um. Whoa, it's you, Proxy! You scared me sneaking up on me like that. Meow! Is eavesdropping what you call studying? Hey, you don't have to put it like that. Look, those officers over there look like they're discussing work. It's a good chance to study how they talk and teach each other. Um, you can watch them with me if you want. Just keep it on the down low. Don't stare at me like that. You're the one who doesn't blend in. Really, Pop? You pretend to be waiting for someone on the street side with Nekomata while eavesdropping on the two officers' conversation. I'm Whitney from Team 2, Criminal Investigation Department on the 11th Precinct. I heard you folks have a lead on the Operation Midnight case. Reporting, madam, I'm Dermin from the Traffic Control Department. Traffic Control Department. Hello, motherfucker. Hello. Uh, Ceres Celeste, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're having a great day. From the 12th Precinct, here's a list of people involved in the traffic accident. Why, why are they communicating? The driver, who is now in a coma, is suspected to have some ties with Operation Midnight. Okay, there it is. I love her little tails. Oh my god. Thanks. No need to be so formal. While I'm in charge of this case, it's the support and teamwork from all departments and units that have made such rapid progress in the investigation possible. Graphic control. The most made up position so far. <laughs> Madam Whitney, you're so down to earth. Okay, okay. Are they going on a date? What, what's happening? It's the least we can do. The 11th and 12th Precinct have always worked so well together, thanks to you. May the odds be ever in your favor. I'll take this info back to headquarters to review. Please keep an eye on the unconscious driver. So this is how public security officers talk while working. I wouldn't- I wouldn't try to copy that. <laughs> well, there's nothing much left to see here. I'll go check on some other places. I would not try to copy that. Nekomata and the two PubSec officers leave. Hmm. Oh, Fairy just spotted Nekomata over by the newsstand. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're here! Doing. Shh, keep your voice down. Look over there. 
You see those two chatting? They might not be in uniform, but my bet is that they're security officers. Meow! You gotta trust my cat's instinct. Listen to the conversation between the officers uh, with Nakamata. Uh, Arno, did you catch the news? Wade from Team 2 over at the Criminal Investigation Department got transferred to another precinct. What? He's at the 11th precinct now? Well, well, well. He's going to keep on his toes. He's going to be kept on his toes. The crime rate there is always higher than ours. Yeah, but they also close lots of cases. They really know how to get the job done. They close a lot of cases because there's way more crime! Bah. That's true. We started at the same time and he might get promoted to the Janus headquarters soon. And I'll be stuck here. Uh -huh. But hey, didn't you guys solve a big case last month? There was an inter-district arrest. The case belonged to the 8th precinct and we didn't even get to interrogate the suspect before they were taken away. So it ended up having nothing to do with us. I thought being on that case would save me from worrying about this year's performance evaluation, but now I can't even come up with a decent self-assessment report. Yeah, it's tough. Last year, someone in the 11th precinct wrote a 10,000 word report! And now the higher-ups are more strict about word count for self-assessment report. Yeah! <laughs> Jesus! How do you talk about yourself that much? I can barely write 10 words about myself. By the way, Jean, your girlfriend works in the general affairs department in the 11th precinct, right? Haven't seen you two together lately. Oh, she's been really busy. The General Affairs Department often has to handle various tasks for the Criminal Investigation Department, and there's a lot going on in the 11th Precinct. Plus, the officers in the Criminal Investigation Department are under a lot of pressure, so they sometimes take it out on the, um, epi uh, epitaphy? Welcome, thank you for the follow. It's good to meet you. I hope you're having a good day. So they sometimes take it out on the General Affairs Department. Yeah, that reminds me. When we helped out at the headquarters... At headquarters, we were often treated like errand boys. Oh, go get my coffee, bitch. <laughs> you don't say. I wish I could have a nice supervisor. Well, life at PubSec always comes with its fair share of trouble every day. Is this stuff really useful? Absolutely. Anyone who's experienced life out in the street, uh, streets knows that if you want to understand someone, you need to know how they truly live and think. These uh, security officers might just be chatting, but they actually reveal quite a bit of useful information. For example, these guys from General Affairs may see us as their superiors from the Criminal Investigation Department. If that's the case, and we do end up talking to them during the operation, we don't have to be so nervous. Very smart, Nekomata! Hehe, <laughs> looks like my studying is paying off, right? Wow, I've gathered enough useful information for the operation later. I'll go get ready, let's meet at the entrance of the Hollow. Okay, Nekomata finishes speaking and leaves. Okay, we're going in. Let's go, gamers. Enter the hollow. Let's go. Bye, Shrimpy! And just ram. You a busy shrimp today. Cat on patrol! Physical and fire? Uh, is my Nakamata strong? Oh no, that Nakamata stronger. Did you call me? Time for some help. You wanna test my hand? Mm. Time for some tail care. Nakamata and... Hey, okay. Is it cool and fire? The lunch is on you. Um... Time for... You wanna... Okay. Huh? Oh. <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? I think I'll do... Uh... I'll do this. <clears throat> Probably just use Nakamata because she's so strong. Can't upgrade my weapons anymore? And what game life? Ooh. Okay. Uh, search for the best location to plant the bait. Okay. And Warframe, why can't you upgrade? Ollie, I'm at the proxy at the coordinates you sent. <gasps> That's great! So, once I meet with the officers from the 11th precinct, you just need to follow us in parallel from a distance. If anything happens, I'll uh, request your immediate support through comms. Just when the time comes, be quick about it instead of exercising your lung capacity. <laughs> I, I'll try my best to hold it in. <clears throat> After all, the other officers of the 11th precinct will be with me. I hear footsteps. Sounds like the other officers have arrived on your end. Good. Let's stay in touch. Hey, but I haven't seen anyone else here yet. Master, 
Two young humans have been detected near you. Oh. Huh? Hey, Holly. There are two people approaching me over here. What's going on? Spent the whole day upgrading and ranking up my main weapons and ran out of certain material I need to craft. Oh no! That's the worst. Uh, that's impossible. I know I sent the correct meetup coordinates to the 11th precinct. Uh, I'll pull up the chat history. Oh no! I did send the wrong one! I sent your coordinates instead! What are we gonna do? Oh my guy! I was just about to ask you that! Um, g g get out of there before they see you! They won't be able to keep up with you! I haven't done anything wrong! Why should I have to run? Besides, what happens to the operation if I leave? The operation. The operation. I'll just go back and confess to my boss about my ethereal phobia. It's fine. At the very worst, they'll just take command of the operation from me. In any case, I'll take full responsibility. I would never create difficulties for you. I never thought Ollie had the guts to do something like that. Now's not the time for this, Bell. I need to plan out a route, so hurry up and decide. Don't worry, Proxy. I'll handle this. Boy. Looks like I'll have to show off my skills for my old profession. Seven or nine times today? Jeez, wife, that's commitment right there. Consider this a free lesson, Ollie. Watch and learn. Why so many times? The rendezvous point should be close by. Hmm. Is that a girl over there? Did we get something wrong? Hey, are you two from the next precinct over? You're in the right place. Oh, uh... Code name operation, watch and wait. I'm Ollie from Team 4 Criminal Investigations at the 12th Precinct, and I'm in charge of today's operation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm Delaney from General Affairs at the 11th Precinct, and this is Huggins. We humbly apologize if we caused any offense just now. We'll cooperate in full and carry out all orders to finish the mission. You don't have to be so formal. We've never met, and it's an undercover sting. So it's completely normal to be guarded about anyone nearby the meeting point. And without 11 Precinct support, we could never carry out this operation. So I should be thanking you. I didn't think you'd be so young, Officer Ollie. Or so easygoing. Buh. When I heard the name Ollie, I imagined an old guy in a stained tan suit with heavy bags under his eyes. <laughs> Don't forget the five o'clock shadow, bro. <laughs> oh, they're talking about me. <laughs> this guy has a very specific imagination. I'm sorry, ma'am. Huggins is just like that. Huggins. And what were you just saying about being specific? Oh, what I mean is, everyone's here now, so let's hurry up and be specific in our mission. Roger. We've already marked out several alternative coordinates, so please come with us. Oh. oh we fooled them. We actually fooled them! <laughs> My guy. My guy. Don't relax just yet, Ollie. That was just the beginning. They're gonna have more questions along the way. The real test is only just getting started. Anyway, find some oh, they just here? Hide and keep an eye on things. If I need info from you, be ready to tell me quickly. Understand? Right. Understood. Officer, we've already marked three deployment points. Okay. This is the first location. This is the second. And this is the final one. Very well. We'll go investigate as per usual. Hollows are unpredictable. Stay close to me. Maybe it's the outfit. Uh huh. Ebol. Avoid the ethereal. Ebol. We've reached the deployment point. Setting up the bait now. Wait. I hear something strange. How come there are so many ethereals here? Oppa. Yeah, the formal suit wear. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. The investigator, where? The look. Cutie pie! <laughs> He's here to cause trouble. I dodge! hear you, Barry. took them all out quickly, Ollie. I barely had a chance to react. Lay. Yeah, no wonder your average combat scores at the 12th precinct were higher than ours last month. Turns out it's all because of you. Oh, come on, you're all exaggerating. <laughs> we're only up on you by 0 0.2 points. What? How did you know that? Man, combat scores are really only for internal use anyway. They're worth nada in the real world. Your precinct's high rate of closing cases? Now that. A real achievement. Yeah? Didn't I hear you all cracked a whopper of a case a little while back, though? You're probably thinking of those inner district raids carried out by the 14th precinct, right? Ah, uh, we can't take any credit for that. Ah, uh, I see. That's a real shame. Right? If we don't catch these gangsters and their ether loot, then I don't know what I'm gonna write in my annual report this year. <laughs> Flot twist of the century. <laughs> wow. Even an elite officer like yourself has to worry about writing reports. I feel like you're one of us now. It's much harder being a desk jockey than catching criminals in the hollows. But the world limit for reports this year has been reduced. Thanks to all the spam your precinct put out last time. <laughs> that was actually Huggins over here. Oh, report, Huggins. 20 times. Being a public security officer is the greatest job in the whole world. Becoming a better officer is my core meaning in life. Delini? You swore you'd never tell anyone about that. Oppa. Anyway, it's better than what you wrote. <laughs> if you can't afford to raise my salary, I hope you raise my pension by 20%. But that's what I really thought. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> you two are sure interesting. Huh. I never expected Miss Nekomata to know so much about our inner precinct gossip. It's like I didn't even need to come along at all. Yeah, so why are you here? Isn't that a good thing? Why you getting all self-pitying? Huh? Officer Ollie, what's that about pity? <clears throat> I meant, there's nowhere good to place those ether resources here. And that's a real pity. Ah, you're right. Let's push on and check out our next option then. We probably shouldn't deploy here. It's too dangerous. Next, let's go over there. Leave me alone. What's all this about pity? Well, you see, I'm nearly on pity for the banner. <laughs> handle bars, handle bars. <laughs> oh god. The space here seems pretty unstable. Oh, but I want that. 
would have disappeared. We've reached the deployment point. Setting up the bait now. Yay! Oh. Master, a hollow shift has just occurred. You are now in an area affected by spatial distortion. Oh no. Great. A hollow shift wasn't part of our plan. Don't panic. That's normal. I've dealt with it. Master, we found an old projector. I can play its memory data for Three you. Three pulls left before the banner ends? I get so mad if I don't get um, GUN. Oh, good luck, Gaiden. Good luck. Oh, down. Right. Up. Down, right, up. Down, right, up, down. But what if I go the wrong way? I just end up back at the beginning? Okay, yeah. Why does it feel so familiar here? Yeah, 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 yeah. There may be something worth investigating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. I have discovered a note. I suggest picking it up and taking a look. Thank you, fairy cat. The note reads, Red is a liar. Oh! Go up. Do we believe the note? Do we believe the note? Oppa! Last time you told me your name is Nightmare, and that's what I wrote down. Now you're telling me it's a Kusetsu? <laughs> I'm confused now. <laughs> Oopa. Welcome in. How are you? She, she's strong. How much is a nightmare? Unfortunately, it's free 99. They come and go whenever they please. Oh, dang it. Thank you for the lurker. Welcome back, Sierra. I thought one of the first two locations would surely be suitable. Lucky we didn't spend too much time on them. Oh, it's so nice to have such an elite on the team. Yeah, I hope better be glad. Ali, you've achieved incredible success at such I'm a young age. I'm doing good, Sierra. How are you? Could you tell How us which you? school you graduated from? Um. Which school? <laughs> oh, right. This is me. Argyle's campus. Yeah, it was Argyle's campus. Hey, isn't that the school where tuition is free? Huggins, watch your mouth. You go. Sorry, I'm Officer happy Ollie. to hear that. Huggins didn't mean anything bad about your old school. It's just, you're so skilled, we thought you must be from an elite academy. 
So which year did you graduate? Oh, that's me again. Class of 45. Class of 45. Huh? 45? Wasn't that years ago? The graduates from that class must be nearly 40 now, right? Oppa! Yeah. But, ma'am, you don't even look 30. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some work done. Uh. Uh. This might be difficult, Belle, but now's not the time to go blank. Hurry up and think of something. Hang on. Officer Ollie, could it be that your real identity is in fact... <gasps> M my real identity? A child prodigy who skipped grades to get into the academy super early for her age? Uh, huh? Oh, you, you caught uh, me. Uh, you got me. Uh, I can't hide uh, anything from you. Uh, I was actually an orphan who was taken in. Oh, 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 you got me. 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 <laughs> She's a vampire. Well, how is she out in the daytime then? Hmm? Explain that. This guy is nearing 40. I'm not. My foster mom was always so kind to me, but she made some bad investments. Look, I don't so usually do this, but uh, I'll suck your dick for free. <clears throat> Bruh. I mean, you look like, like... <laughs> cat vampire. They don't work on the same rules. What? She's also really, uh, she's really good at playing. They came from the bottom. Now we hear yeah, card. Yeah, she is. <laughs> ah, I see. So you're the oldest in a family with lots of foster siblings. You lived in a tiny house at the mercy of the elements. <laughs> Your whole family squeezed into but a single bed. Yeah. As the oldest kid, you'd secretly eat moldy crusts while carving off the good bits of bread to share with a smile for your younger siblings. Yeah. Wow, sounds like an old soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. To keep costs down at home, you chose to enroll <laughs> on the campus, which has lower age limits and free tuition. Oh Actually, my god. You pretty much nailed it. But lots of company affiliated schools have free enrollment too. Why'd you decide to become a public security officer? <laughs> He's writing a whole ass fan fiction. Hmm. Well, before I went into foster care, I wasn't a good kid. This one time, I overestimated my abilities against a really bad person, and nearly ended up losing my life for nothing. But even with all that, someone still stood up for me. Protected me, and accepted me. It might have been unintentional, but for me it was like coming home to a dream home. No. So if I could, I also wanted to protect something with my own hands. Talking about to Nicole! <laughs> An Anne B and Billy. You chose to become a public security officer to protect others. <laughs> this man is crying. No wonder you're in charge of this operation at such a young age. Your morals are beyond reproach. I only became an officer to show up to the ladies. But I'm just a piece of dirt compared to you. A quack to her. <sighs> After on this hearing man. Past, <laughs> I realize I really Disgusting. don't have any dreams of my own. I only took this job for its pension perks. Disgusting, disgusting like people. I think it's good to have dreams based in reality. This man is a K-drama and C-drama fan for sure. He's, He's seen it all. He's seen it all. For the force Those soap people. operas that have been but going on for like 35 years. He's seen every day episode. In, day out? Wow, Officer Ollie, you're so kind. As a fellow public security officer, I'm filled with pride. I'll have to redouble my efforts to be deserving of such words. This is insane. <laughs> Huggins gets emotional easily. I can Don't tell. Him. Let's push on and check out the next location. Don't worry, I can this tell. This area is prone to spatial displacement. Not a good spot. Let's head to another deployment point. Holy man. Jeez, <laughs> that was crazy. Master, I haven't detected 
any anomalies here. This location is suitable to place bait. Yippee! Let's start setting up. Uh, you and the other two officers work diligently, moving supplies and setting up the bait as you think to yourself. If only Ollie could help with physical labor like this. Well done, now you can finally call it a day. Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our ether resource trap has been set. Great work. <sighs> so it's done. I didn't think talking with those two would be so tiring. Great job, Nekomata. Really? You obviously had no issues with it, Miss Nekomata. And what's more, the thing you said just now about using your hands to protect something, it was just like the real thing. If I didn't know you were just pretending to be me, I might have been moved to tears just like Huggins. He wasn't pretending. <laughs> I want to know why your acting skills were so bad before Ali. Why? It's because the key to a good disguise is to never completely make everything a lie. You need real experience, or else they'll see through you. Your words will lack conviction. You have to understand the character you're playing. Adding a hint of real life experience works best. Balancing truth and fiction. <gasps> so that's it. No wonder your story was so touching. It's because it's a true story. Hey, don't just assume other people's experiences. I said add a hint. Anyway, if you hadn't messed up giving up the info, <laughs> I wouldn't have had to go through all the trouble. I'm so sorry, truly. Hang on, I think I hear something nearby. <laughs> Jesus. Huh? Holy, do you got me? What's going on? Warning. Large numbers of ethereals are converging near the client's location. Oh no! Hypothesis. This area experiences spatial anomalies that teleport in ethereals from other locations. What? Now of all times? I'll come up with something. As long as they can hold them off for a few minutes. What do you mean by come up with something? Officer Ollie, you've seemed a little absent-minded right from the get-go. That's... <clears throat> You're right. I've actually had something on my mind. The key to this whole watching raid operation revolves around whether or not these gangsters actually take the ether bait we've laid out for them. That's why I think before we withdraw, we should check nearby for signs of anyone suspicious. To guarantee that nobody notices anything about today's operation. Gangsters can be tricky after all. Ah, I see. Drawing on such rich experience? No wonder you're leading the operation. It's just... You've helped me out so much today running around these hollows. And now, I'm asking you to go the extra mile. It feels... bad. No, really, it's nothing. Guaranteeing safe operations is what public security officers do. It sure is. I have the greatest respect for you, Officer Ollie. So just give us the order. <laughs> Alright, here's what we'll do. We're gonna split into two groups and search for signs of anything suspicious nearby. If we find anything, radio the other team. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Uh, check the left side together, split up, and check both the right. I command a swift response earns the approval of the other two officers. However, to ensure everyone's safety, it might be wise to provide them with some additional guidance. Maybe you can check the left side together. Maybe you should split up and check. You check the left side together. Make a good point. We should. They free if we stick together, let's do that. The two officers not in agreement. Okay, yeah, they go together. So we'll go that way. I'm with yeah. you. Great. Proxy, we have to go rescue Ollie. Okay. These are definitely Ollie's footprints. About to enter a critical stage of the commission. Please note, once you start, you can no longer explore freely. Let's go back. Are you with the cat and the chat doing? We're doing some ZZZ. How are you, Orc? Good to see you. Let's get them. There's so many ethereals teleporting here. It doesn't look great. We hope you can hang in there. Do you really think some wimpy ethereals can stop me? Oh, hello. Holly must be close. 
kills are never ending. We're gonna beat you into the foundations! Go, go, go! Ollie! Oh, he's okay. Ollie! Hey, Ollie! You can stop shaking now, everything's fine! <sighs> Miss Nakamata! Proxy! You made it! Oh, no. If you're here, does that mean the entire operation has failed <laughs> all because of me? You're fine! It hasn't failed. I managed to think up a way to send those two off. <sighs> I'm completely exhausted. You know, you better take responsibility for turning a simple operation into such a mess. If you can't crack the case and get our commission fee, I'll never let you off the hook. You got that? <laughs> <laughs> Ollie? Ollie, answer me! I think Ollie's still in a state of shock. <laughs> uh, no, I I'm feeling okay now. Oh, are you? I just can't stop thinking about something. Has teaming up with you all, or rather my idea of receiving a commendation, been unrealistic from the start? Um. Watching how you handled things over the course of the operation today left me thinking. You can easily deal with anything that gets thrown at you, but I have only caused you trouble. I got the meeting place wrong, I can't even protect myself from ethereals, and I can't even provide you with the right intel when you need it. Hey, Ollie! That's enough grumbling for now, okay? Nobody can easily handle every single thing that gets thrown at them. Didn't I tell you before? I almost ended up losing my life for nothing thanks to one bad guy. I wasn't lying about that. So there's actually lots of things I can't do. There are traces of ethereals all around you, Ollie. You must have wiped them out in a panic, right? Uh, really? I didn't even notice. Oh. Ollie. You were the one who came up with using Internet against these gangsters. You were the one leading this operation, and you were the one who took down these ethereals just now. Who kept yourself alive until we got here. Don't you get it? You're nowhere near as bad as you think. Oh, look at Nakamata hyping him up. Don't so cute. Don't so hard on yourself. And turn your personal experience and your personality into your very own secret weapon. Um. Huh? It's a message from those other officers. You might suck at everything, but I messed up that one single time. So chin up, chap. <laughs> yes, this is Ollie. What's going on? <laughs> Ma'am, your intuition and foresight are truly remarkable. Huh? Ma'am, not long after we split up, we spotted this sneaky figure around the setup point. So we apprehended him immediately. This kid was dressed up like a gangster. He might have something to do with the gang we're looking for. Hey, yo. We'll head to you immediately, and we can go to the 12th precinct together. What? Go into the precinct together? Delaney, Huggins, wait a sec. I'm really far away from you right now. Why don't you take him back to the 11th precinct? That, uh, it wouldn't be proper. It's totally fine. You two apprehended the suspect, so the credit's all yours. You should take him back to the 11th precinct for interrogation. Go out now, quickly! I've just taken on another assignment. I'll be watching closely as to how your interrogation goes. Good luck! All right. Thank you, ma'am. Great work. That's weird. I only mentioned it offhand. I never thought they'd actually catch a criminal. If you go back with them to their precinct, Dolly, it'll blow our cover. So we have to give them the credit for this arrest. But I'm a little anxious about the outcome of the interrogation. So mm. dust yourself off and hurry back to your precinct. Contact me the moment you hear anything. Okay, you got it. Wow, that was crazy. Very good day at work today, except for when I got hot oil in my eye. <gasps> and brake cleaner in my eye? I'm busting my knuckle and fi- Oh no, oh my god. All you do is get hurt at work. You need to relax. You need to relax. Uh, Oh my god, uh, are you oh are you okay? Ollie hurries out of the hollow and back to the 12th precinct. Proxy, Ollie's already headed off. Let's call it a day as well. <sighs> I'm so tired. Forgive me for not taking Eos back. 
I never expected you to be such a good teacher, Nakomada. Thanks, guy. You have good ads. Best ads I've seen for real. Well, thank you. Hey, come on. What are you saying? Oh, even my ears are blushing. <laughs> I wish I could get rid of them. I mean, we've put in a lot of work today. If we leave them now, we'd be throwing away our investment. How can I put this? Whenever I used to see a public security officer, I would just avoid them. But after working with these two, I realized they're just a bunch of average Joes. Hello. Welcome back. A bunch of internet ads. Boo! <laughs> what what hap what hap you need to be more careful at work why are you always getting hurt why are you always getting hurt you've also been running around all day proxy thanks i bet we'll be getting a message from ollie sometime soon let's get some rest for now i'll contact you if i hear anything if this rest and turns the operation went smoothly probably we're done for yeah, who would have thought a simple operation could turn out to be so dangerous? I knew Nekomata was quick-witted, but I guess I underestimated her. It's just a relief Nekomata is our friend and not our foe. Alright, oh, what do you think about the guy who got caught by security officers by the 11th precinct bell? Quite a surprise. Yeah, I also find the timing of that guy showing up a bit too convenient. Maybe we can trace that guy back to the gang uh, PubSec is after. Anyway, let's wait for an update after Ollie's interrogation. Criminal goes, you know, I used to think cops were a danger, but now that I work with them, they really suck. Holy. <laughs> oh, man. Not your fault. It's the car's fault. Yeah, but you're always getting hurt. You need to, you need to be, you need to be wearing, where are your safety glasses? You need to be wearing safety glasses. Why are you getting shit in your eye? Shaking my damn head. SMH my head. Where are your safety glasses, Omo? Hmm? Where are your glasses? Why are you getting stuff in your eye? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I'm not hearing that. I'm not hearing that. You put your fucking glasses on next time, okay? Or I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be giving you a spanking. Naughty, naughty, Omo. Naughty. Just got a message from Nekomata and she wants to meet up in the parking lot. She sounds kind of serious in the text. What happened? <gasps> Inky! Better yet, wait for the oil to cool down before opening it. Ah, oh, that's smart. That's another good thinker. Haha. <laughs> Roxy, if the pubsick officer found out who you are, how long do you think uh, you could withstand being interrogated before confessing? I'm a proxy, not a pyromaniac. I'm just saying, but maybe I'm being too cautious. Ollie's interrogation has concluded. Isn't that a good thing? As it stands, we seem to be getting the answers we need, but my intuition tells me something is wrong. Very few gangsters who roam the streets are willing to reveal things uh, so readily. I'm not sure if it's because- oh, Hello? <laughs> Hi Red! Welcome! Welcome to the Starlings. Hope you're having a good day. A spanking? Oh my god. Don't hurt yourself. On purpose. I was changing the oil filter on a forerunner and went splat all over me and my face. Wow, well, if only you were wearing some safety glasses. Hmm, that wouldn't have been so bad. <laughs> uh, it's more experience in interrogation techniques, but never mind. Something just feels off. That's why I wanted to talk to you in person. Let's talk inside your store. It does seem very serious. Safety glasses, who? I will pull up a picture! I swear to God, Omo. You come into my chat one more time, and the first thing you say is, I hurt myself, uh, this happened, this happened, this happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna scream into the mic. 24% stinky. That's not bad. That's not bad, Sierra. After returning to the store with Nekomata, everyone listens to her recount her meeting with Ollie. I don't know what safety glasses is Ms. in. Nekomata, you, your job should be providing you with safety glasses. Ah! Oh! A percent almost? 38? Guy then, oh my god. <laughs> and you don't even have an. I'm, I'm, I'm reporting your job. I'm reporting it. 
that sneaky dude they found lurking around the hollows is actually from the gang we're going after. No way! He's already flipped. He told us how they sent him out to snoop around because they'd heard about and were interested in our bait. Oh, and under what circumstances did he give up this information? Uh huh? Why do you ask? Is that important? Of course! If he keeps silent, then there's definitely a connection. But if he gets suddenly angry, you won't be fine. You, you could lose your vision, Omo. Or perhaps you're completely right. If he keeps saying, I can't say, it means there are conditions you have to meet before he'll talk. A gang member capable of hollow exploration like this is certainly no amateur. If he won't spill everything out of desperation, you should be very skeptical about anything he says. Huh, you're so knowledgeable! But the interrogation was carried out by the 11th Precinct, so we only have access to the written report. There's no way of knowing the specifics of the interrogation. And there's something else that's troublesome. If this guy doesn't report back to his gang, it might expose our trap. So, to avoid that possibility, the Precinct decided to immediately use him in a sting to catch the rest of his gang. Opa. Hi, Starwind! Hi, welcome in. How are you doing today? I can still see right now. Was oil hot enough to just go wild when you opened it? Are you supposed to wait for the engine to cool down? Yeah, right? They asked him to leak info to his gang, saying that the ether resources are legit, and the gangs decided to make a move on it. Oh my god. Um, you know, something about this operation still seems fishy to me. I'll just have to bite my tail and go with the flow for now. Back to the present in the video store. That's everything that happened. According to that gang member, the gang tends to use a pretty large group for the robbery. There's a small team of three to four individuals assigned to handle the transportation and disposal of the stolen goods once the job is done. Ollie's mission this time is to lead a small team along with a defected gang member and capture those involved in fencing the stolen goods. They'll head to the hollow in a little while to carry out the mission. Ollie's going to lead a team into the hollow himself? What if he runs into Ethereals? He says he's been training in a simulator ever since we got out last time. And this time he's got a team with him. So it should be okay. I'm not hard to believe. I've already talked to him. This time we're gonna follow him at a distance and play things by ear. If he needs our help with anything, he'll find a way to message us in secret. Mo, oh, your safety is more important. Just, just think of it this way. Something happens to you. You're saying it's busy, right? And you have to, you have to fix the cars, right? If your boss says anything, hurry up, babe. We have to do whatever. Blah blah blah. Put it this way: If something happens to you, and you get hurt or you die, uh, worst case scenario, right? Then he's down a hand completely. Then he has to find a replacement. That could take weeks. That could take months. How about? Instead, you just wait an extra 10 minutes and let the car cool down completely and like it's going to cost him more in fucking workers comp, in fucking hiring and training a new employee and fucking all this other shit than it is to buy an eye wash station, buy safety glasses, buy safety equipment and spend the time to to do things fucking properly i i'm i'm literally getting angry so i don't want you to tell me about your job anymore because i <laughs> i'm literally getting so mad that you like it's not even it's partially your fault but it's not like a hundred percent your fault that you are not provided safety access to like all the safety resources that you need to do your job properly and safely <sighs> but like it's the, you don't have to be sorry, but like, I just want you to be safe. I want you to be safe. I care about you and I want you to be safe. And like, at the very least, wear safety glasses. <laughs> like, at the very least, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be, you know, being hasty and not letting the car cool down completely, like, at least protect your, protect your eyes. 
Like if that ha- like, you're- you've been lucky. <laughs> but like... One- one wrong thing could happen and you could lose your vision completely. You could go blind. And that's so scary. Oh no, that's so scary. And then what are you gonna do? You know? But please be careful, okay? I don't wanna cry. I don't wanna cry. I don't wanna get upset about this. Okay? Please be safe. Please. Please! Caught by the cat! Cat burglar! Opa. Wait, I didn't see. Physical on fire. Let's try! Let's take a break. You and... You wanna test my hammer? Hey, don't look down! Oh, you. Don't look at me! Well, physical team! Pog. <laughs> I just don't want anything like really bad to happen to you. Well. It's one thing to get bumps and scratches, like it's it's in the nature of that job, but like you know. Officer Ollie. Our team and the main force at the resource point are all in position. Operation watch and wait is ready to go. Over. That guy looks really scary with his yellow eyes. Roger that. Oh that's Ollie. <laughs> Alright, Alberto. You're our informant, so it's time for you to take the stage. Yeah, give your boss a call. Y yes, sir. H Hello? Yeah, boss, it's me. Alberto. Glad you still remember who's boss. My patience was seconds away from wearing thin after not hearing from you in so long. Yeah, but, like, they can only handle so much, like, you know? If it happens over and over and over again, like, and if it hits the wrong spot one time, it's Jover. Like, you know what I mean? If it gets behind your eye or, like, something, especially with oil, like, if it gets behind your eye or something, like, it's not gonna be good, you know? Sorry, boss. I had a problem with my carrot and only just got it fixed. B but it's all sorted now. Uh, you better not mess this up. I've got the location that you sent over. Is it the right place? Don't worry. I got the scoop when I was out gathering intel last time. All right. We're gonna get the goods now. You go meet up with the vehicles. Out. I did everything you said, sir. O okay. <laughs> uh, next, you'll take us to the ones responsible for selling the stolen goods. Meanwhile, not far away. Proxy. Meow. Our is about to get moving. We should get going too. <laughs> Master, please remotely assist Ollie in reaching his destination. I have updated your system with Ollie's location. Please make sure that the path you take with Ollie is unobstructed. Their path out is blocked by an iron gate. Detected. An electrical switch that controls the door. I've marked the location of the switch in your system. It's open! Your virtual assistant is useful after all. Ethereum! We can close the door with that button over there so Ollie will know he should switch paths. Nope. Miss Nikomata, your help from afar is invaluable. No worries, just keep going. Leave the rest to me. I guess we're fighting. <laughs> Time to attack. Get the attack. Ooh. 
It's so Jover for these guys. It's so Jover. Still Jover. <laughs> I got scared, but it's still Jover. But wait up! Got him. Take it easy. <laughs> Did it! Slay! I'm hearing interference on the comms device. Don't stray too, too far away. How far from the stolen goods are we? There is a shortcut, but... I'm not sure if we can take... Seems like we're good to go. I got you, fam. Looks like someone's sneaking oh. up behind Ollie and company. Not on my watch, bitch. Wait, shouldn't all the bandits be where the bait was set? Why are they still here? <gasps> you and Nekomata have a bad feeling about this, but you'll need to defeat them first and then interrogate them for answers. Let's get them! Obviously, it's a fucking ambush. Bandits aren't that stupid. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez and crackers. The two other cops were also fakes. Imagine. Oh, imagine. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed with this all physical team. Low key? <laughs> High key? Let's go. I think full is pretty uh, physical is pretty top tier overall. Yeah, it's really nice. Fun to play. <clears throat> and it's it's kind of nice to not have to like worry about like freaking yeah. triggering some kind of elemental yeah. bullshit stuff. It's just like just go, just attack. Oh my god! We fell into their trap. 
Yeah, yeah. What? What's going on? I don't yeah, know it's a uh, assault, right? The sale. What are all these guys doing here? This isn't good. We're outgunned. Everyone, calm. Just calm down and get ready to yeah, make a break for it. Don't you think it's a little late for that? <laughs> Boss, we rounded up the officers, except for the one leading them. So, this is, this is what you had planned all along. <laughs> of course it's a trap. Of course it's a trap, trap. of course. You become the hunted, did you? You, you, don't tell me you. <laughs> We're a gang making a living stealing ether resources. We always know where the grass is greener. Killer job like that pops up on internet? You better believe we're gonna look into it. If you ask me, your mistake was being way too eager to get what you want. And trusting the word of a gangster. Right. Anyway, we'd be rude not to accept such a fine gift from public security. Right? What are you... What are you gonna do? <laughs> Already shaking with fear. Now... How did a coward like you end up making captain? Hmm? All right, Captain. It's time for you to take the stage. Call up your main force and come up with a reason for them to withdraw from the resource site. What? No. No way. I won't. No. Do you still not understand the gravity of the situation? Opa. Help us get this batch of ether resources and I'll let you live. Isn't that a good deal? Or would you rather wait here with these officers waiting to be fed to the ethereals? Ah, ethereals! No, don't! You can't feed me to an ethereal! <laughs> hey, boss! I think ethereals really freaked this guy out. Captain, call up your guys right now. The boss's patience is running out. No, I... I can't do that. Huh? I... I don't want to be eaten by an ethereal, but... I... I don't want to lose my job either. Okay, life or death, buddy. If I help you contact the main force, I'll be fired and my life will be completely ruined. So what you're saying is... It's better to just end everything here and now. No, I... God, that's not what I meant either! God, what... What I'm saying is... I know another way to get the etheric resources without having to involve the other officers. Oh? Huh. Is that a fact? Sure you're not just... Uh, making stuff up? Of course not! Please, please trust me. I'm an orphan and was adopted as a kid. I brought up a whole lot of things <laughs> to me, and I suffered so much over the years. He's using Nekomata's story. I thought becoming a public security officer would mean having a decent job. But after all these years in the department, I've mostly just been sitting on the sidelines. I'm not that young anymore, and this operation might be the last chance I ever get. <laughs> but seeing as it's doomed anyway... I should really think about myself first and foremost. As long as the department doesn't know I'm responsible, the blame won't fall on me even if the ether resources are lost. How surprising. The kid really does have some will to live. <laughs> All right then. Lead the way. The other side. Damn it. I knew something smelled fishy. He was all a setup. The gangsters tricked Ollie. Well, it's already happened, so all we can do now is adapt and respond. But Nekomata, Bell, what do you think about what Ollie just said? Well... Ollie... He couldn't have switched sides to the gangsters, could he? No, there's no way. Remember? Back when we first met Ollie, he was terrified. But he still didn't reveal he was actually a public security officer. Oh, I thought that meant like he was just like duping them. 
Those guys are dumb. Not even gonna ask how they're gonna get the resources without alerting the guard. Right? Not even gonna ask how? Yeah, like she said, he may be unreliable, but he's got more backbone than I expected. And what he was saying to the gangster boss, don't you think it sounded familiar? He's a bright guy. He's definitely planning something. Let's follow him and see what he's up to. Come with me. Over there. So well behaved. Keep an eye on the area for me. Where's Ollie taking the gang members? Proxy, let's catch up. I need that though. Two thousand gear. Please spare me. I'm just a hollow raider who happened to pass by. I've got a fair deal here. How about you give me some gear coins? I'll give you some fanta something fantastic in return. Hollow raiders are not to be trusted. Fight him or give him the money. Um. What if I need the money for something else? Give him the money. Yeah, this goodie is yours now. Oh, it's just this. I thought it was something extra. You freaking dingo hopper. Grrr. <laughs> I should have just fought him. Trying to tell us to use the switch? Ah. What is, what is this? Oh. Put it away for now. Revives and restores a certain amount of an incapacitated. at our destination hey what is this place this seems pretty far from where you stash your etheric resources please just hear me out for a moment when i was out here earlier laying out the resources I, I discovered this weird spatial displacement phenomenon nearby happening intermittently are you saying all we have to do is just wait here and a spatial displacement will bring etheric resources to us from who knows where yes just just a little bit longer, and the miracle is going to happen! Huh? 
What's the matter? Why are you getting all sweaty? <laughs> What's that sound? Boss, this... This isn't good. Ethereals! There's so many. Where'd they all come from? My brother says he's coming home with pizza. Wow. Why? I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Ethereals! <laughs> Dude, it's okay. <laughs> so Wally took those gangsters to where he got attacked last time. Looks like he's trying to use the Ethereals to weaken the gangsters. To create an opportunity for us. We shouldn't let his efforts go to waste. Come on, let's get after him. There and the gang members won't oh. let him go. I don't know why that skipped. Let's I didn't click up. anything. Up and over, baby. Whoa, oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Can you relax? Yep. Let's go. Yo, get sniped. We... We finally wiped out all the ethereals, boss. Where'd that sneaky little cop get to, Alberto? How dare he try this kind of stunt on me? Oh. I'm gonna skin him alive. Ah! He's over here. We've got him. Come here. Oh. <coughs> Oh my god, are you okay, dude? I took you for a jittery coward before. I didn't think you had the guts. You let us that horde of ethereals hoping they'd take us out. Bet you never thought a bunch of gangsters like us could take them all out, huh? No. I actually thought of that, but I... I knew this would be enough. What do you mean? Make some sense! What he means is... Now I can take you out all by myself! Yeah! Let's go! Okay, it's beach. Hit one. You guys wanna try me too? That was a slay attack, holy... No Bye! Go, 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 kitty, go! Is that all you got? Let's get him! Let's get him! He's gonna hit me! No, he's not! I got you, baby girl! GG, GG, didn't send a chance! How much longer are you gonna bug me? <laughs> That's why you all surrendered, of course. <laughs> Dream on! Hey, yo! <laughs> She's just one girl! Take her out! <laughs> Watch out! Whoa, get him! She's so devious and cute, I love it. Lay. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you 
care to say that one more time? <laughs> you stupid cat! Right in the balls! <laughs> Told you I could take all you out just by myself. You <laughs> want a doubt? Go for the balls! <laughs> you really came! So cute! Pull yourself together, lad! Hey, pull yourself together. You're safe now. Yeah, I know I'm. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just feeling a little flustered, you know, having seen so many ethereals. Those gangsters almost tore you to pieces, but you're still fixated on the ethereals? You really are something. But anyway, you did a pretty good job just now, Ollie. That's right. If you hadn't thought so quickly to use the ethereals to weaken them, Nekomata and I wouldn't have been enough to take them out. <laughs> well, you know, now that I think about it, that really was kind of unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all right. My mind just about went blank once I realized we'd been double crossed. And I don't know why, but. I suddenly thought of what Miss Nekomata said before. Mm. Turn your personal experience and your personality into your very own secret weapon. Yeah. So you figured out the way I do things and trick those gangsters the same way I would have? Great work. Yay. And thanks to your quick thinking, your lies went a whole lot more smoothly this time. Me and Nekomata's ears look so similar. So cute. It's because what I said wasn't all lies. Yeah? Meow? Well, didn't you tell me that it's best to mix in some of your own personal experience if you want to get someone to believe your lies? Well, I really am an orphan. Oh, sorry. I laughed at that. I was the oldest kid at the orphanage, and I really did have to more or less raise a whole load of siblings, all unrelated to me. The reason I chose Argyles was because of the free tuition due to family finances. If your finances were so bad, why didn't you go to a company-affiliated school? I have heard lots of company-run schools offer scholarships. And with your ether aptitude, you probably would have gotten some more lucrative job offers once you graduated. S some orphans who get out into the real world feel shackled by self-doubt or the distressing memories of their early years. Yeah, I, I, this is and so weird. <laughs> and path irreversibly in pursuit of money and survival. Uh, of course, I don't mean to say anything bad about people like that. After all, it it is what it is. It is what it is. But as an older brother, I never want to see my younger siblings like that. I wanted to become a public security officer so I could stand with my head held high and tell them we can all become amazing people. But <laughs> I'm no role model. I've done nothing really after all these years. I mean... I've never even been awarded so much as a simple commendation before. No wonder you were so intent on getting some recognition before. It was all because of this. But I think your wish just might have come true. Huh? Good role models aren't defined by the accommodations they're awarded. But by the actions they take. You showed ingenuity and bravery during the mission. You not only saved public security from losing those ether resources, but you also arrested all those criminals. Yippee! Are those not the actions of a good role model? Uh, really? I did all that? Sure did. So keep your head up high. Your brothers and sisters, they're all going to be proud of you too. Anyway, everything's settled for now. So we'll leave the rest of it to you public security officers to handle. Great. Our partnership has reached a successful conclusion. Uh... I don't know if I'll get a bonus this time, but I'll pay both your fees as soon as I get back to the precinct. I'm sure you'll get your bonus. But as for my cut, I don't want it. What? Uh, huh? <laughs> Miss Nekomata, what are you talking about? I said you don't have to pay me. Just pay the proxy. Take your bonus and buy those kids something nice. Boo! <laughs> Nekomata, my heart, my heart, I can't, I can't. Kids who grow up with nothing cherish whatever gifts they're given. This is just, it's just what I found in my personal experience. In that case, let's split the remainder. But Ali, we have a condition. 
Remember what you said today, and keep being a good role model for those kids. Yeah! And if I ever catch even a sniff that you've gone crooked, then you can bet I'll be the first one after you. Thanks so much! I promise, I'll definitely keep up my end of the deal too. Just like that, the curtain finally closed on the successful operation. Aww. Nicole's gonna kill her! My money! Well, Nekomata was only doing this for extra money, so she can't be that mad, right? <laughs> uh, one week later. Taxi! It's me! Hello! Are you finally gonna work in the store to repay the cutting hairs' as debt? No way. What? I just came by today to bring you some fresh fish. There's no such thing as a free lunch, Nekomata. Don't be so suspicious, you two. They're from Oli. Oli sent this? He's a public security officer. Where'd he get so much fish? After he was told he'd be getting his bonus, he said he went back to the orphanage last weekend. He went ahead and told them all the presents were for me. So all the kids went out fishing with him to say thanks. Oh, my heart. Molly's a good guy getting you your favorite food. Well, yeah, but don't stereotype us sirens. Sometimes we want a little variety. Something nicer. Like steak or crab legs. Crab legs. Anyway, Stay. I've way too much now, so I want to share some with you. Did I tell you that's what I had for dinner on Sunday? Last Sunday? When I went out for dinner for Kalina's birthday? I had steak and it was delicious. Just then the door of the video store opens. Oh! A bit! Is Abyss here? Abyss! I'm just returning a tape. Ah, oh, proxies. That's a lot of fish. It is. Steak and crab legs. No, just steak. <laughs> One of Nekomata's friends gave them to her. I didn't buy it. It was a gift from Nekomata's friend. Uh... <laughs> She's so cute. Hey, Ambi, what do you mean by... Huh, exactly. Nothing. It's just a little surprising you have friends who give you gifts. Not like the rest of us cunning hairs. Well, well, of course I do. Because I'm actually super popular. Mm. Definitely. Oh. Enough to call me a role model for the cunning hairs. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Relax. The very role model of a cunning hair. Huh? You just agree. Just like that? So? Uh, it's nothing. Oh, she's my she to win. I feel like all this was a waste of time. I'm going back to the cunning hairs now, Nekomata. You coming? Want me to carry some fish? Okay. We'll be going then, Faithin. Yeah. So cute. All things considered, the commission ended pretty well. I'm well, glad they're getting along. Fish for dinner tonight. Nekomata finishes speaking and leaves. Well, why did Nekomata suddenly just say all this was a waste of time? Because of her original goal, right? Oh, I remember now. When Nekomata first approached us about working together, she said it was also Anbi could praise her as a model of the cunning hairs. But looking back, if Nekomata hadn't put so much into this case, she would have never made friends with Ollie and gotten fish from a friend, and she- the bang boo just fell. And she wouldn't have had the chance to brag to Anbi about how popular she is, so nothing really was a waste of time. And we also get fish for free! Yeah, and fresh fish is not exactly easy to come by. Any recipe you'd like, you'd like to try? Let's decide what we're eating tonight first. Ah, we did it! Mac! Oh my god, Mac! How are you? Hello, baby. Hi. Hi. Miani. How the heck are you? Who is the Iron Wish? Which? Who is that? The Midnight Pursuit. That's obviously Lycaon. That's Arena. Who are these two? Is that... is that, um... Boleda? Maybe that's Grace? I don't know. <clears throat> beep beep! Beep beep!
<clears throat> it's so good to see you, Meg. I've been good. I've been good. How are you? <clears throat> Hi, Crazy. Welcome in. How are you doing? More bardic needle stuff? Okay. Let's go. Oh, hi, Hetty. You have more suited to becoming a promoter. Ever Because ever since I started helping out here, I've been happy every day. Or maybe it's just because I love this store. Random play, which I used to like and regret, um, how became like a home to me. Oops, that's a bit embarrassing to say. This is actually your home after all. I'm really happy to hear that. If this were a movie, you this would be a silent scene with emotional music. Well, no more chit-chat, manager. Let's just take these tapes away and get back to work. <laughs> Uh, video store recommendations unlocked. The video store's business performance has improved. Yay! Trending sensation. We got new film cases. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, crazy. How are you? Like, how have you been? What's up, Elfie? Music is the best language to convey feelings. I'm sure you already knew this, right? I've been trying to make the melodies better aligned with the customer's feelings. Lately, it's been, it seems like I've made a breakthrough. If I could really write our feelings into the melodies, then the resulting disc drive discs should be able to maximize their potential. That's why I'd like you to try it with me first. After all, there seems to be some sort of resonance between us. Sure, I feel the same way. Uh, please take this as well. We'll need uh, our heart strings to resonate. This should help. All right, when you're ready, please follow me inside. Whoa, thank you. Not too great, but I'm hanging to in there. Today. Oh, baby, I love you so much. Mwah. You need, you can talk to me anytime, you know that, right? I love you so much. I hope things get better for you. Then all right, need to play this more? Ah, I'm having so much fun. <clears throat> Advanced tuning unlocked, guaranteed S rank disk drive? Oh, why do I keep calling it a disk drive when it's a drive disk? I don't understand. Main main stat orientation? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Orientation tuning can be done on this resonance. Okay, advanced tuning, right. First, select the tuning orientation. Okay, sure. How about woodpucker electric? Sure, I have like a billion of those, but sure. Okay, let's choose partition four this time. Okay. Okay, and then use the calibrator to perform orientation tuning. Let your innermost aspirations guide you to specify the stats that you want. Oh, interest. Hi, Twee! Thank you for luck! Mwah! Nice. Okay, so say we want, uh... Say we want a physical damage. Say we want something for Piper, who does anomaly proficiency. And we want it in spot S for five. Very nice! Very nice! Cool. That's a sleigh! I do need to- Oh my god, I have so many fucking things to use. Holy shit. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Oh my god. I think I should look at here. No. Flame? Instrument level 40?
Unlock a new difficulty level. Did it, level 40! Achievements. Additional level 40, slay. Agent story, complete Nekamata Cat and Mouse game. Yay! We did it! Okay. <clears throat> okay, I did want to check out these. So we have the ice damage. I kind of wanted to just go like all ice damage on her. This does what? Increase anomaly proficiency. What is the what is the anomaly proficiency exactly? Touch my tail? Uh, no. Uh, no. Anomaly. Anomaly proficiency is either the rate at which you can build up elements or how much it hurts when you reach max build up. Okay. That's wrong. That's wrong. Touch my tail. Because I know that Hyper. So sleepy. So sleepy. Hyper has high attack and anomaly proficiency. And she's an anomaly build. Exceptional with applying debuffs, excelling at accumulate anomaly buildup to weaken enemies and deal damage by triggering attribute anomalies. Oh, attribute anomalies. Okay, okay. Well, she's my only anomaly person, so I should probably just do that. So like for her, anomaly, yeah. Increases physical damage. I wouldn't happen to have two more of those, would I? Oh. This is what? Ice damage! I think I just put whatever I had on her. This is defense. Electric damage. This is attack. This is impact. What's impact? Oops. <sighs> Sleepy. Hitting enemies increases their days, and impact inf influences the rate at which days accumulates. Okay. That's actually quite nice. Maybe we can do that. Fire. Impact. The star one. Stars. Stars. <laughs> okay, cool. She's pretty buffed up. 
Physical damage and impact. I think that's good for her. So many numbers, I know, I know. Those helmets. Touch my tail, and no. Okay. And what do you have? Ice damage. We could do four pieces of ice damage easy on her. Surely I have enough of that. Ice here. And... Ice. And then this is impact. What else do we have? Crit damage? Increases attack. Oh, we have an S rank polar. Put that on instead. And an A rank polar. <clears throat> Crit rate. Let me go back over here. Thank you for the glasses! Uh, thank you, Mac. What's this one? Electric. Increases defense. I might do defense. I feel like Ellen gets hit, to, hit a lot. Attack, though. She's quite strong, though. Energy regen? Maybe I have another one of these. I do. Defense by 16%. That's not bad. Okay, Alan. You have four ethers. That's pretty good. And then what is this? Energy regen? I think that's good. Yeah, you good. You good. Okaku, we got four ice and increased crit rate. Sure, that's fine. attack we should give her these Have a two here? I do. Oh my god, I hate when they're not fucking lined up. Okay. <laughs> Makes me so angry. Okay, you definitely need four fire pieces, and I've been collecting those, so... They aren't here, though. Fire! Fire! Nope, that's not it. Sorry. Do 
you want to do attack on her? I don't know what else we want to do in her. I just need another fight. What? Where's all my fight? I feel like I, I crafted like six fire ones. Hello? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Back up, back up. I'm making fire ones. There's fire. 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 Make. Huh. Can I just- can I just- I wanna make- I wanna make for every slot. Oh, if I don't select one... I think- I think it just makes for whatever- whatever slot. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's make one more. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for your next visit. By the back button? <sighs> Time for some tail care. Who's that? Kaleida? Yeah. By the back button? Are one of the buttons a thing you can sort by? Oh. Yeah, I can sort. But I do kind of like to see them all. Increase impact. I like having increased crit rate. Later. Upon hitting um, a burning enemy, uh, crit rate is increased. Okay, and then plushy has the extra crit rate. Yo. <clears throat> nice. Every time I hear fire, I can't unhear the Hollow Live Advent debut song. Never heard it. Okay, Ambi baby, you need some fixing up. We definitely have some freaking shock for you. Which one is it? Fire this one. The Uchiha clan one. There you go, Babu. What's what's pen ratio? Fuck, why don't I know what any of this is? It ignores a percentage of the target's defense based on the pen ratio stat when attacking an enemy. What? Oh, I see. Never mind. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Hey, I'm gonna be putting this better one on though. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, that is a pretty cool one to have though. B level one can. What else do we want on her? First attack? That might be nice. Uh, impact? Yeah, the shoddy gun, that's it. Yeah, that's what it looks like, right? <laughs> Don't listen to it, it's an absolute earworm, I'll never leave you alone. Understood. Ice damage? You don't need that. Uh, let's go impact me. On MB. There you go, Bubby. As long as an enemy is in co in combat is shocked, the equipper's attack is increased by twenty eight percent. MB. 
Slay. Okay, you've got Corruption. Yeah. And then what else have you got? Crit rate. Fine, you can keep that. But you can have this one because it's leveled up a little bit. You can have this Hello, one. Hello, motherfucker. It's better. B Bugs Bunny! Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Any better ones of these that I've gotten? I don't. Yeah, you are a good uh, baby girl. What have you got? You need you need physical, and I think you need crit rate. Yeah. Okay. So do I have any more of? Uh, yeah, I do. Fire. A non labor fish. When an EX special attack hits an enemy, I really use your special attack a lot. So, I'm... you have some left, but do I have enough? I only have three. That's okay. I'll go for um, spot one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Evokes a hundred aromas. Spot one. I want this one. Do it. Yay! Lay. Pick it up. Touch my tail. Mm, no. We know, Alan. It's okay, baby. Okay. Now we go back here. And we get the one we just made. Fuck. Okay. And then we have... Yeah, I think crit's okay. Maybe... This does a lot of damage. And crit. Okay, yeah. So let's keep that crit on her. Do we have any better ones? Ew. That one on you. That's good. Okay, Corin, you're ready to go. Billy. 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 Billy, you need some work, my men. He's a physical attacker with crit. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we can keep this crit on him if you want. I don't have any more. Physical, but maybe we'll put these shock stars on him. Increase attack, we could do that. That, and then we can do... Stars here. Yeah. So now he has increased crit rate by 8, increased impact by 6, and increased attack by 10. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Hi Bax! Hi, welcome in! Welcome in, how are you doing? Good morning! Good morning. Well, it's 5.30 for me, p.m., but good morning to you. <laughs> good morning. How you doing? This guy. This guy. Crit again, and we want some electric on him. Can make that happen. Um, Electric is... What have we got on Ambi? Oh, the shot again. Okay. Have any more of those? We do. There though. So there. Oh, okay. Put it in spot three. Come Hold on. up. Let's get to work. 
<laughs> what flavor of music would you like to try today? Hold up. I would like the flavor of lightning attack. One. Please. Ozzy, welcome, welcome. How you doing? I'll be waiting for your next Is that a, a bear? Yeah, I have a bear. <laughs> Touch my tail. I guess you haven't seen all my baboos. Okay, so we have Ellen. I love Ellen. She's my baby angel. <clears throat> this is Ellen. Dork. Dork girl. My slayer. And then we have Zhu... Uh, Zhu Shan. Zhu Shan is, is our pub set cop handlebars. Babes. Look at her gun. Oh my god. I love her. I love her. And then we have Sukaku. Oni! Oni girl! I love her too! She's my baby angel! And then this is Piper. She is in the biker gang. Who I haven't met yet, but... She, she is she's me for real for real. Look at her eye bags. She is me for real for real. <laughs> you chillin' Pazzi! How's stream going? It's going really well. We finished Nekomato's like, trust companion story. Um, and we're gonna try and finish chapter two now in a little bit. This is Nekomata. This, we just did her story. Kitty girl. She's got twin tails. So cute. We love her. We love a kitty cat. We love a kitty cat. Kind of odd how in gacha games you can use characters before meeting them in the story. I know. Weird, right? And you're like, hey, I know you. <laughs> and then this is Koleda, president of Bellabog Construction. She's got hammers. She's got the hammers. It's hammer time, y'all. I like using her. This is um this is our queer queen Ambi. We love her. It's hammer time. <laughs> we love Ambi, our electric queen. And then this is Nicole. Oh my god, Mech! You haven't seen that. Hold on, pause. the pre-nerfed Nicole uh, my boobas are fully out with uh, no uh, no undershirt and um, I don't have jean shorts I have janties <laughs> as Kaz so lovingly named um, yeah her boobs were completely nerfed look at look at them look at them look we we think the reason is because she just looks really young they didn't want to like make it weird. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is my little Nakoma. Isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? Ah, I can I can have a phone. I have a phone, and I can sit. Usually, when I use this model, I sit in the corner like this. Ah, so cute. <laughs> and I can have a boba. Yeah. And I don't have something clicked to that. I have a blush. Hmm. Sexy? Mm hmm. She is pretty hot. I have oh. a <laughs> I have a new. Put, 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 put. And then I have a uh, dish. Oh. <laughs> Lovers. Lubbers. <laughs> and then I have... Ah! Pizza. Pizza. And then we have money. Nicole likes her money, baby. Give me the money. Give me the money. And I... <laughs> and it's it. Very cute. Very cute. <laughs> It's so pretty too, it's so fluid. I love the hair. It makes a very pretty model. 
The reason, um, now the reason is the games in China can't be too sexy, otherwise the government gets mad. Opa, what the government? <laughs> That's a mad government. The swords are really ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> they're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got energy regen. Maybe we would. We should give her energy regen. Okay, but I'll finish showing off my characters first. <clears throat> so that's that's Nicole. She is she is very cute. I love her. Yay! And then we have Corin, also part of the maid housekeeping uh, faction, whatever you want to call it. She shows she showed us she shows us her pantaloons. I don't know why. And then we got Billy. He's a freaking android. Very Deadpool vibes, even his voice. Um, I don't think there's a way we can like see his voice lines or anything like that, like in the other Hoyo games, but <clears throat> he is very Deadpool. He is very, very Deadpool. Classic pantaloons showing off. OMG. Dante Trigon. Mmm, yeah, yeah. It's very cool, very cool. Uh, and then we got Anton. He's also from Bellabog. Uh, construction. He Mech, do you remember Mondo from Daga Rampa? Oh, he was oh he was always so dramatic. The guy with the pompadour. He was always so dramatic, and then he like made friends um with what's his face, and he's like, yeah, this is my bro, bro. That's this guy. <laughs> That's this guy in a nutshell. <laughs> The first freaking line out of this guy's mouth was, how can I do this without my bro? And I was like, oh my god, not another Mondo. <laughs> how can I forget Dew's favorite? Yeah, and then as soon as he said that, I was like, where's Dew? Where's Dew? <laughs> Schizophrenic and Taka is a trail. That's so real. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the the rock dirt drill is Taka. <laughs> They're inseparable. <laughs> and then we have the best character. Ben Bigger. The motherfucking bear. <laughs> he looks scary. He looks scary. But he is the biggest fucking softy. Oh my god, his character's so cute, Mech. So like look, he tries to look scary. He tries to look scary. Grr, I'm a big scary bear. Grr. But he's like, oh my god, it's so nice to meet you, Proxy. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. Like I oh my god, we're so thankful. Do you want like a cup of tea? And I'm just like, I love you. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so cute. And he's got that freaking swagger. He got the chains and everything, man. Oh my god, I love him. He's basically Sakura. <laughs> I love him so much. Oh my god. I love him. Big bear, big heart. Yeah. I'm obsessed. I love him. It's funny that he's such a nice guy. I love it. It was unexpected, but a, a amazing development. Amazing development. And also, welcome in, Jax. It's so good to meet you. That jacket is clean, though. I know, right? He's so freaking stylish, Billy Eilish. Like, frick. The swagger is unmatched. <laughs> unmatched. I love it. And then we got Piper. Sorry, this isn't Piper. This is Luciana. Who's also part of the biker gang with Piper is why I got confused. <clears throat> she has um she has a a bat and also an army of bokoblins, <laughs> tiny little bokoblins. Um, see her see her mask. They're like little, they're like that. They're like little bokoblins, little uh, little monsters. Grr. Little evil bokoblins. Um, and she uses them as um baseballs, and she hits them with her baseball bat. <laughs> She just goes pacha and fucking shoots him into orbit. It's awesome. 
I'm like, slay, girl, slay. <laughs> I love her. She's very cool. And then these are the um, characters I do not have yet. This is Soldier 11. The only one that we know of so far in the Obel squad. This is the Bondage Furry. I mean, the Avon Lycaun. <laughs> Head of the Victoria Housekeeping Co. Ice Puppy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, this is Grace, our beloved. Hello, Grace, a cutie pie. And this is Rena or Alexandrina. Mm -hmm. She uh, she's pretty cool in combat. She fights with these two little bangboos. So she doesn't really do any of the fighting. She's kind of like a puppeteer. Uh, so she actually fights with these two little guys. You hate Rena so much. Why? Why you hate her? And that's it so far. And then we got the rat coming out. Oh my god, man, you have to see the rat. Uh, holy sh... I'm saving all my pulls for Jane. <gasps> no, you lo- Oh no, Gaiden, no. 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 This is so sad. Why is the first video Jane Doe Jiggle Physics? I hate this. Okay, but anyways, look. This is the rat. <laughs> this is the rat that's coming out. She's perfect um, in every single way. And... If I don't get her, I will... I will go broke for her. I will literally go broke for her. Is all is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I like the hair. Me too. I like that. I like the everything. I like the outfit. I like that it's kind of like ripped up. And then they they had a trailer, and it kind of showed like. The cops, like she, she's kind of like a villain. Kind of showed like the cops being up against her, and her like causing trouble. And then this guy at one point was like, "No!" And I was like, "Whoa, holy shit, fucking goosebumps!" And I was, "Oh my god, whoa, it was crazy." <laughs> I was like, "Yo, I can't wait. So cool. You got the drip. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Anti-hero mouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited." She's so cool. She's so cool. Yay! Yay! <laughs> but yeah, I love my Alan baby. <clears throat> and I love my, my Zhushuan. I love my Zhushuan so much. My babies, my two S babies that I, that I pulled for. These are my babies. Ellen, Ellen, I do, I do look at kind of spicy art of Ellen, but she's more so like my baby that I just want to like squish her cheeks and be like, I love you, you're so cute, you're just my little baby, my little baby Ellen, oh my god, I, I love you so much. <laughs> and then, and then Jushuan's like my, oh my god, mommy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so cute, yeah, that's what I want to do to Ellen, that's what I want, she would fucking hate it. She would hate it. She'd be pissed. <laughs> but I want to do it so bad. She's so cute. Look at her in her little maid outfit. Oh my god. Yeah, she's like, you want to touch my tail? No. <laughs> I want Jane Doe, that Tignus, bro. I can't. I can't. Hi, Intul. I'm mad I missed the Ellen Battle. Oh, one is so good. I'm sad you missed it too. This one is the Gwak Gwak Queen, bruh. They knew, they knew we would be just staring if they put it in this. I wish they did because I'm mad. Mad about it. 
Mm. Time for some tail care. Mm. Touch my tail? And uh, no. Um, no. Officer 148, Ju Yuan, ready. Mm. Huh? Is something the matter? Oh, she got, she got that booty. Got that booty. <laughs> we love a good booty. Okay, where was I? Maybe I should put attack on her. What did we put? Brit? Should I just put attack on her? Goofer? See what they're. And I did the anomaly proficiency. It did impact. Do I have one that does anomaly proficiency? Ah, I do. But not here. I'm gonna go get one. Hold up. The Piper? So sleepy. What flavor of music would you like to try today? Oh, not here. Please. She doesn't have a beauty, she has the whole entire bakery. <laughs> Bruh, it's too much. It's too much. Touch my tail. <laughs> eh, no. We know. Yo, and it's an A. Let's go. Nice. Okay, cool. And I gave you crit, right? I gave you attack. <sighs> That's fine, I guess. I gave you fire and oh, impact. Mb's impact too. Okay, I did give her impact. Energy regen. I think I have. I think I. I've seen that. Ah, energy regen. Which one has it? I'll go make another one. For the five slot. Need something? My services. I'm just boosting their already their already good skills. Oh big brain! Um big brain. Uh do I'm trying. I'm trying. I'll be waiting for your next visit. Sometimes it takes a lot to like learn how these work, but getting there. Okay. And then after we do all this, we have to level up as much as we can. <laughs> level up these discs. Okay, we have crit and we have crit. Okay, that's good. Crit. Oh, we did a bunch of different ones for them because we didn't have any. Any more physical damage? We could try and get some, but attack, impact, crit. Could try and get here and here for here and here for critical. I have two guns, do have lots so of double the things. accuracy. A mellow tune evokes a hundred aromas. Physical damage. One for here. Ma'am. And one for here. I'll 
I'll be waiting for your next visit. Touch me too. Mm, ready for Billy. Starlight, it's time to shine. Place. Place. Okay. Fine by me. Okay, and you have crit. Oh, did we get you an electric for here? Oh, uh, sure. Well, certainly we did, yeah. And then, what was it? Crit? Crit. Crit. Yay! Okay. And then we have defense on Ben. Attack. Fire. One is defense. I need a defense one, defense one for slot Time four. For some hard labor. A mellow tune evokes a hundred aromas. Okay. Come back again soon. Touch me. Ready for nothing? <gasps> How can I help? Play. Okay. And then you attack. Fire and attack. I think I'm gonna run out of fires pretty soon here. Well, that doesn't help anybody. I need one more a fire or one more. We're just going to do that for now. Last one. Good day, proxy. Good day. Um, can we level up any of these? No, I haven't been doing shit. I haven't been farming for this stuff. At all. <clears throat> okay, let's level up some shit. Oh my god, that takes so much. I don't want anything like at zero, you know? This is not the most exciting thing to watch, but it needs to be done, so I don't. Ah, uh, suck ass. <laughs> Can I like filter by what people are freaking wearing? Equipped. There we go, great. <clears throat> okay. 
Makes a big difference just doing them up one level. Plus two, like, plus almost 300 just by doing three levels. Crazy. Okay, bye, Meg! Mwah! I love you. And remember, you can talk to me anytime, baby, okay? I love you so much. Take care. I love you, I love you. It's so nice to see you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll see you later, Angel. Be safe. Be good. Bye bye. Okay, we get in there, we get in there. I'm out of money. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you're done. You're done. Do we have any pulls? Oh, we have four on this one. Trash. More garbage. More garbage. Nothing good. I'm surprised people got to their got to their like people are saying they got to their their picked S rank already. Three hundred pulls. That's crazy. Looking into Jane's kit since unless I get super lucky in the next few days, I'm not getting as uh, Yushuan. Looks like Rina is one of the best teammate. I guess the game was giving me a sign when I pulled her. Ah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I don't have Reina yet. Fuck. 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 That is crazy. The fact that I'm out of money. I know. <laughs> I'm out of money now in Hong Kai too. <laughs> I'm broke. Fuck. Bruh. Unforge. Okay, let's continue the story. We'll make some money. It's okay. <laughs> oh, what do you want, quirky girl? I plan to open up a paranormal club on a busy street, so I need plenty of inspiration. I want to watch some fantasy, the crazy wacky kind. Hey, yo. Some fantasy, crazy wacky. Finds himself in a company known as Olympus. No matter what he does, he can never get out, work off time. That sounds so boring. I'm sorry, that sounds... Fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Oh. Sudden visit of beings from off-planet does not bring the conflict that was expected. These alien beings are slow to act and um, intellectually inferior. Dr. Samiria, who is in charge of the investigation, discovers that they have a very special ability. Touch, after touching anything, they are able to... Imitate and change into it. Oh. There were no there were no humans from the begin Yo, that sounds cool. Yeah, let's do that one. Something crazy wacky, you'll love this. What do you think? This in the general sense is a nice movie, but I don't think it's got anything to do with the paranormal huh? It literally has aliens in it! It doesn't get more paranormal than that, you freaking freak! I hate my customers. <laughs> I have to wait 17 stinky hours to upgrade my weapon. Oh my god, waifu, what the frick? Broke ass, shaking my head. I know. You mean you're out of jades or credits? I'm out of credits. Building teams is so expensive. Yeah, I ascended uh, Fu Xuan. She's level 70 now. Um, and I was getting a bunch of materials to get that rest ability on her.
This is rigged as fuck. Why for you? You can you can wait. It's okay, baby. Do it tomorrow. <laughs> also, I still haven't gotten my 300 pull in Star Rail, but I'm really close. Oh, there's a 300 pull in Star Rail. Oh, that's just on like the basic banner. The permanent one. Do you want a ghost? I'm an idiot. I don't want to wait. You can do it, Waifu. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. Grr. Grr. Waifu, it's okay. <laughs> Calm down. Take a breath. Big breath in. And out. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. I'll have you finished what you were working on. Should we find some time in the next couple of days to hand in the questionnaires to Zhu Xuan and King Yi? Is that how you say it? I'm done. Let's go tomorrow. Immersive storytelling! Pog. All right, then it's decided. The next morning. No monies, wife, no monies. Um, Bell. Fairy said that she saw Zhu Xuan and King Yi handing out questionnaires near the metro station. Let's go find them. <gasps> Yippee! Handle bars. Handle bars. Where's Prim? Somebody get Prim in here. We're going to see handlebars. On that bamboo, we sleepy eepy. Prim. Yeah, story quests. We're still on chapter two. We're in like the second part of chapter two. And you're level 40? Damn how? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, and Honkai too? Oh, I didn't realize. I've done like every quest that they've given me. <laughs> You didn't get to see handlebars last time. Gone through story and I'm only halfway through 39, really? I'm not sure what else I've been doing that gives me experience. I've been doing a lot of farming. Touch my tail and no. But like the skills and stuff. I literally have no money. I am a Satch. Ah! Well, too bad. What? What's happening? You're the drift. Criminal cases have been rampant lately. To raise safety awareness among citizens, Janice Quarter Public Security has launched the Safety Awareness Month campaign. Mm -hmm. We'll be holding a seminar at the Lumina Branch soon. Please come and join us if you have time. A public security event? Oh, how nostalgic. I participated in such an event years ago, you see. It was somewhat reminiscent of a coffee tasting event. I <laughs> even had the chance to offer everyone present some freshly ground coffee. Albeit, it wasn't a top shelf roast. Oh, it's a shame public security's facilities now smell of air fresheners everywhere. No longer suitable places for enjoying coffee while freely conversing. Um, what do you mean? My game, um, my game plan is going to be get Jane and then just save up for Miyabi. Oh yeah, Miyabi. <gasps> oh, yeah. And then save up for Jushun Rerun. Yes, nice plan. Nice plan. Plays in the arms of the... <laughs> in the arms of an angel. Fly away. Of course, while fine wines develop into richer experiences with time, other worthy items can go bad. Oh, I'm talking of coffee beans. <laughs> so, to prevent the coffee beans at my shop from facing a sorrowful fate, 
I have to go grind them properly. I'm afraid I can't make the event. Now, if you excuse me. He said no to handle but. Mr. Enzo, according to our data, you're running a remodeling shop on 6th Street. Would you be interested in attending the seminar? I'm still waiting for um, Kokomi to come back home on Genshin. Aww. You're pulling for Kingyi and then saving for Miyabi. This is Kingyi, right? <clears throat> I need to see. I can't wait to do the, the demos and see how they play like. Well, hey, it's not often I get invited out by two young ladies. Excuse so me. To join you. Don't be fucking weird. Unfortunately, my second aunt's grandfather's son's cousin is getting married that day. I can't miss such an important family event. That is such a blatant lie. Oh, I understand. In that case, I hope your relative has a great wedding. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I have a customer coming soon to collect his car. I better get back to it. You don't work on cars! My God. <laughs> Good morning, Yuan, Ching Yi. Ju Yuan, Ching Yi. Good morning, Wise, Bell. Here's our questionnaires. We've decided we'd like to attend the seminar. Wonderful. If it weren't for you two, we wouldn't have recruited a single participant yet. <sighs> Ching Yi, that's blunt. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I was the like, truth. bitch, the blatant so, lies. It's not like they're strangers, right? She's right. But why do you think nobody on 6th Street is willing to go to the seminar? The neighbors are all pretty welcoming. Is there anything we can do to help? <laughs> now that you mention it, there is something I'd like to ask you. I stopped moving around. Some of the residents on 6th Street only registered their names, but didn't fill in their addresses. Do you know where they live? Everyone is on that never talk to the cops grind set. I guess so, oh, man. Let me see. Asha, General Chop. Spike should be one of our members, an older gentleman. We know all these people. In that case, we'll take the questionnaires to them. That's a good idea. The Sixth Street doesn't usually have much interaction with public security. So if they see officers giving out questionnaires all of a sudden, they might be wary and refuse. If it's a neighbor who brings in the questionnaire, maybe they'll be more open to it. Oh, we wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, ma'am. Anything for you, it's okay. You two did us a huge solid before. It's only right for us to return the favor. Zhu Yuan, since they're willing, we should let them help. Okay. Thank you, really. Let's split up and meet back here later then. Okay. Asha, General Chop, and Spike. Give them the public security survey. Oh, look at that ass. I mean, <clears throat> Sixth Street ain't snitches. <laughs> That's because bitches get. I mean, fuck, I fucked it up! <laughs> I'm saving for those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Judy Wad is truly the best girl. She's so cute and pretty. Snitches get no bitches. <laughs> or snitches get stitches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, those two. I'm not even gonna try, man. If I can't say if I can't say snitches get stitches right, then I'm not even gonna try. That's his address when he registers as a member of the store. Fairy's going to send it up. Ooh. Bunny girl, bunny girl. Hello. Hello, you two! It's been a while since I saw you both at the arcade together. Are you here to play some matches? Sorry to disappoint you, Asha, but we're here about something else today. Did you take a look at this survey? <laughs> oh, are you researching new movie genres to stock in the store? It's actually a PubSec survey. 
Uh, don't tell me you guys got busted by um, PubSec and now you're doing community service. Were you selling private videotapes or burning illegal discs or... Is that how you see us? Haha, uh -huh, I'm just kidding. Um, that is... Is that how you spell... No, there's no... You can't apostrophize there are. I don't think that's proper English. I don't think you can apostrophize that word, can you? <laughs> I'm so thrown off by, by this. My English diploma is being flushed down the toilet. I, I've i never seen that word apostrophize. Okay, but bunny girl, she made your cute. I love that her bunny ears are so freaking huge. You can't see her that well. Hold on, move. Look at how, look at her. There are just too many um, secretive residents on 6th Street. I think you technically can. I hate it though. I hate how it looks. Yeah, it looks weird, right? I hate it. Don't ever do that again, game. You siblings give off a somewhat mysterious vibe. I wouldn't be surprised if I found out one day you were the number one most wanted pup set. Most wanted list? Thanks for your approval. Oh, Asha, about the pup sex survey. I see, you're just helping out an officer you know. Well, as long as you're okay, that's what matters. Actually, last time I was at Lumina Square, I saw public security had set up a promotional booth. I heard that on that day of the lecture, lots of media outlets will be in town conducting interviews. It seems like PubSec is really putting on a lot of effort um, into this exchange event. It might be worth checking out, don't you think? Exchange event. That may be the case for regular citizens like you and me, but for some people, it could mean something entirely different. Some people? Nothing, I was just mumbling to myself. Uh, anyway, thanks for bringing the survey over, but unfortunately I don't really have time that afternoon. Please pass that on to the officers for me. Dang it. Technically not wrong if I remember correctly, but it would just be impossible to pronounce. Yeah, it's just like there are. Like, just use the two words. <laughs> like, General Chop isn't in the shop today? Um, you here to see the owner? He said some ingredients had arrived, but he had to go sign for them. He'll be back soon. In that case, we have to come back later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, same, honestly. Hello! Knock, knock, knock. Bike should live here. Try ringing the doorbell. Ding! Darn salespeople, it never ends! I've said it time and again, I got no teeth, so I don't need your electric toothbrush. No, no, I'm actually... What? Not a toothbrush? Well then, I got no hair, so I don't need your darn curling iron either. Spike, for the managers from Random Play. Oh, the video store, one moment. <laughs> it washy has perfect hair, super nice hair, and like perfect teeth. Soon the door finally opens. Oh, okay, he does have hair. Oh, both of you came out. How many videotapes have we forgotten to return this time? I'm sorry. Oh, this is the old man that comes in and coughs in my store. Actually, I've come to tell you, you're banned. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my memory's short, I'm old. No, no, we're actually here for something else. Could you please take a look at this survey? Hmm, now there's an unsettling face. That bringer lad, isn't it? Sorry, my eyesight's not what it used to be. I can't read the words clearly. Could you just read it out for me? Oh, blah, blah, blah. You tell Spike about the pub sex security event. Hmm, for the sake of the urban sec of urban security and the safety of us re residents, that sounds lovely. Um, if they really cared about the residents, they wouldn't be chasing around after proxies. In the end, all the benefit is just for tops. Thank you both for bringing the survey over, but as you can see, these legs of mine aren't so stable. I don't really want to go wandering off as far as Lumina Square. Could you please tell the officers? Dang. I have a bad feeling from the moment Asha spoke. Sure enough, Spike refused as well, but they were clearly hinting at something. General Chop's the only one left. I'm not sure if General Chop is back yet or not. Let's go take a look. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Not looking good, gamers. Oh, he's back. Hello. Hello, Wise. Bell. Some customers mentioned you were looking for me. I understand you're helping those two officers from public security hand down questionnaires. So you already know then. <laughs> One of the perks of running a store on the street is being well informed. He's cute. I like anyway, him. Anyway, please tell the officers I have other things to tend to that day. I knew it. 
I had a feeling General Chop would say no before we even got here. It'll be hard to break the news to them later. No. Oh, have other people said no too? Yeah, we went to see Asha and Spike just now, but they turned us down. And this morning, Tin Master and Enzo said they were away on the day of the seminar. Someone's behaving strange. It's a little strange everyone is refusing. Like it's not just a simple seminar. You've got that right. Do you two know who the guy on the questionnaire cover is? That's Inspector Bringer. He started the event. Then have either of you heard of the Hollow Hero from the Eridu period? Nope. Nope, never heard of it. Well, for a while back then, that's what the residents called Bringer. Before the fall of the old capital, Bringer happened to be the commanding officer in my precinct. After being promoted from the front line, despite being an inspector, he still got involved at the ground level and interacted with the residents, so they regarded him highly. Then, he went missing in a hollow during a rescue mission. But just when everyone thought he was done for, he miraculously made it back out. Just like that, he became known as the Hollow Hero. He was then transferred to the HQ and Janus Quarter and quickly advanced to the ranks over the years. Hmm. Mysterious. Thank you for the look, Palsy! Did I miss something? I got something that'll get your brain running. If two witches watched two watches, then which witch would watch which watch? Well, they would watch. They would each watch one watch. <laughs> if there were two witches and two watches, they would each watch one watch. <laughs> Sounds like a great story. It used to be, but these oh. days, people say the Hollows have drained the Hollow Hero of all his courage. Oh no. Now, Bringer presents himself as a hard worker, but we older residents can see through it. He's just putting on an act in front of the cameras. What's more, in recent years, he's clearly been cozying up to tops. He's implemented a number of measures under the guise of benefiting the public, but it's those big corporations that benefit in the end. Oh yeah, because he was like, oh look at his face, he's like, mm, mm. Uh, he was like, oh, my campaign, I mean the city's safety. <laughs> Remember he's that? aiming for commander of Janus Quarter in the upcoming municipal election. Yeah. Launching a safety campaign right now, even putting his own image on the questionnaire. His motives are pretty clear. Don't you think? Sounds like Inspector Bringer is trying to advertise himself through the seminar. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Holding the seminar is a good thing, but I can't go knowing what Bringer is up to. Mean muggin. Mm -hmm. Thanks for telling us all this, General Chop. I'm just sorry I can't be of help this time around. Well, we visited all the neighbors. It might be awkward, but it's probably time to go back and tell Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi the news. Zhu Yuan. Zhu Yuan. Stop getting it wrong! Hi, ma'am. <sighs> We've gone up and down 6th Street, but we haven't even gotten 10 people to register for the seminar. Oh, baby girl. We've done our best. Let's get a drink and take a break. General Trop said we don't support false politicians around these parts. That's right, and as you should. Hey, easy for you to say, but the conference hall we're in can fit 300 people, you know? As things stand, it'll be more than half empty. Inspector Bringer must have chosen this area because there's a lot of residents nearby, thinking it'd be easier to find people to participate. Shame many of them are from his previous precinct. A lot of them have complaints about him. <sighs> I was just wondering why you're in such low spirits today, when I've never seen you discouraged by difficult tasks before. But then I remembered. The inspector saved your life once. Not being able to accomplish what we'd hoped, on top of seeing him come under fire. It must make you feel even worse. Aww. Mm-hmm. 
If Ringer hadn't rescued me in that hollow back then, I wouldn't even be here, let alone be a public security officer. I understand he's no longer the hero he used to be, but can someone who gave up his anti-corruption gear to a child be such a bad guy? Sure, he's had some dealings with Tops, but it's inevitable, especially when many of our devices are jointly developed with Tops. I mean, people change. If it was when you were a child, he could have been a good guy then and now a bad guy, you know? And, and besides, doesn't he always say he lacks sufficient authority to make changes? Hmm? If he gets elected, maybe he might be able to turn public opinion around. That sounds like... Um... <laughs> Worshipping an undeserving deity is sycophancy. Huh? Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. You're using a lot of big words, can you? What? Yeah. It means when someone flatters undeserving people, it's considered an act of sycophancy. If one should stand up for what is right but remains indifferent, it shows that person is a coward. As public security officers, we need to be clear about what we should and shouldn't do. There may be many different ways to interpret Inspector Bringer's actions, but only he knows whether he has a clear conscience. If his deeds True. were pure, even if he's misunderstood for the time being, things will work out in the end. She's doing copium. No. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Do you want, please? Sorry, are we interrupting you two? Oh, we were just chatting. Did you go talk to the residents? We gave them the questionnaire, but everyone said they were busy on that day. Looks like we couldn't be of much help. Oh, it's okay. We're just grateful you tried it all. We're almost done with distributing the questionnaires Hello, here too. Hello, motherfucker. Then Chingy and I will Hello, be heading Baker. back to the Welcome office. Hello, Baker. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a good day. Back to the office. Wait a minute! Officers! Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, good. You didn't go. My man came running! Oh. Is something wrong? General Chop, what's happened to make you run all the way here? It's hard to explain, but just now, there was a crime committed over there, and it's at a stalemate. Please, officers, you have to go take a look. Oh my god. A crime? Let's go check out the scene. Great. Please. Follow me. Bell, let's go see what's going on. Oh my. Was a kitty hurt? Oh, if a kitty was hurt, I'm going to be upset. Hello, you two. It all took place just ahead of us. Who knew there would be so many onlookers already? <clears throat> what happened with the truck? The case is actually connected to that uh, Pegasus logistics truck, but how exactly I can't really say. Anyway, you two can go check it out yourselves. Let's observe things from a distance. Somewhere not too far away. What? If you say there's officers nearby, then let them come and weigh in. I mean, what possible argument could there be? They were caught in the act. Huh? Sir, caught in the act doesn't seem fair. It's similar to seeing only foam on a cup of barley latte and declaring it isn't coffee. <laughs> Calm down now, gentlemen. We're public security officers. What's going on here? Officers, you're finally here. It's like this. Anxious driver, me every day at my job. I'm Gail. I'm a driver for Pegasus Logistics. I was making a delivery in the neighborhood. I'd finished the delivery and was calling the next client when I heard a suspicious thud from the back of my truck. Startled by the noise, I quickly rushed over only to find all my ducks flying and running out of the cargo compartment. Oh. A flustered Bang Boo was caught at the scene of the crime. This is that very Bang Boo. No, I didn't do anything. Give Change didn't do anything bad. Hold on. Bell, isn't that Bang Boo Give Change from the 141 convenience store? Officers, I saw the whole thing. There was no one around when it happened except this Bang Boo. I'm <laughs> sure it opened my cargo compartment. How? He's so tiny. Those ducks inside are a new, specially bred variety. They're worth a fortune. Losing just one or two of them will cost me more than a month's salary. I've taken your statement, sir. Bang Boo, do you have anything to add? <laughs> My name is Gift Change. I work at the convenience store. 
My head was spinning when I walked past the, past the truck just now. I stopped to take a break. Suddenly, I heard a loud noise. Then the door was open, and the ducks flew out. Hey, what do you mean the door was open? I know you opened the door and let all the ducks out! Sir, if I might say, I think you're being too harsh on Give Change. Officers, as Give Change's neighbor, I must say something on their behalf. I know them well, and I'm sure they wouldn't do anything like this. Then tell me, why was my cargo compartment open despite being locked? Well, if it was locked, how would the Bangboo open it? Officers, oh. there's been tons of Bangboo committed crimes in the city lately. You gotta help me find evidence linking this Bangboo to the crime, so we can hold it accountable for my losses. This isn't just about Give Change's reputation, officers. They could lose their job. You simply must uncover the truth and prove Give Change's innocence. I'm more not far away from the crowd. The only time I've seen Tin Master this agitated is when I asked for instant coffee. <laughs> I doubt Give Change is the culprit. I don't think Give Change is the culprit. We dealt with the Bangboo at the convenience store quite a bit. And they've always been honest. But Give Change was the only one there when the driver realized what had happened. So it's hard to explain. Oh, seems like people are leaving. Have Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi resolved everything? Let's go see what's going on. <clears throat> hmm. Give Change wants to see their friends. Everyone people are worried about Give Change. No way, what am I supposed to do if you run off? You're not going anywhere until all the ducks have been found. Okay, give change waits here. It won't go anywhere. Oh, he's so sweet. Hi, Bell. Hi, Wise. We overheard what happened. Since the crowd left, I assume the case has been resolved? Not yet, unfortunately. We discussed the situation and managed to calm everyone down. So, what's the situation <laughs> now? We took a look around the truck. And we didn't find anything suspicious, other than the traces left by the escaped ducks. There are no security cameras in the area, so all that's left to be checked is the Bangboo's visual record and the truck's anti-theft system. And to review both of those, professional technicians are needed, so we don't have an immediate conclusion. If Fairy were to help, she'd be able to see Give Change's visual recording right away. But I can't do anything in front of public security. Anyway, that'll take at least two or three days. Both the driver and give change will have their daily routine disrupted somewhat during this time. It's unfortunate. After we explained the situation, the driver said his main concern is the whereabouts of the cargo. As long as he can deliver the shipment on time today, he's willing to reconcile. So, Tin Master and some other residents of Sixth Street went to look for the ducks. In that case, Bell. Let's hurry up and go help too. <gasps> Going to look for we'll duckies. Accompany you as well. Oh, I thought you were going back to the precinct. The driver may have proposed a solution, but there's a likelihood of further conflict until all the ducks are recovered, so we can't just walk away. Junior officers would usually be responsible for these types of cases, but Handing the task over would take time, and we don't want residents to think public security is evading our responsibility to the public. And there's something suspicious about this incident, so Chingy and I decided Ooh. to look for other clues while they searching They think for there's the something suspicious. Thank you both. And let's get going. We're pretty good at finding things, right, Bell? Bell, can we talk? Um, <clears throat> what's up? Acting all so mysterious? I need to talk to you about something. When it comes to finding things on Six Streets, we got a very resourceful helper. Know what I'm saying? I mean, Fairy. Exactly. Fairy should be able to pinpoint exactly where the ducks are hiding. I've already asked her to mark out any suspicious locations near us. Um, then we can focus on the places she's marked out for us. Suspicious places? There's far too many. There are quite a few places to check out. Since there are four of us, how do you feel about splitting up? I'll go with King Yi and you can team up, yes, uh, with Zhu Yuan and <laughs> speed things up considerably. Okay, it's decided that. Yes! <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> I want to hold hands. I'm scared. I need to hold her hand. Hi, Mew Mew. Investigate the remodeling shop. Okay. 
<coughs> you think there might be ducks behind this door? Ah, uh, Belle, listen. I can definitely hear quacks coming from behind this door. But we were miles away from here. How did you notice this place? I just had this vague feeling. Are you talking about instincts? Sounds like something King Yi would say. The name of the store is Turbo. Ah, so this is Enzo's shop. But he doesn't look to be in. The door's locked tight. Freak bang. That sound. It seems that there was an accident at the intersection. Let's go take a look. What? Why is there so much happening? Oh my god. Oh my, what happened here? That really gave me a fright. Aunt Megan, you hit the bang boo? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hi, Cass. Hi. Welcome in. How are you doing? I'm a focus officer. Can you tell me what happened here? I ha I don't have a clue. I don't know. It just ha happened suddenly. It happened so fast. Mom, calm down. Oh, Miss Pubsect Officer, allow me to explain. Hi, Rikoso. Welcome. Welcome. How are you doing? <clears throat> um, Miss Megan is a customer of mine. And she's here to get her vehicle repaired. When she was about to leave, the car suddenly turned and ram rammed the Spang Boo. Uh, does the car have a similar issue prior to this incident? Never. It came to get re repair done because its trunk switch wasn't working. So that's the only issue it had. But it just went out of control for some reason. Oh. Miss uh, Pubstick Officer, please believe me, I absolutely did not break the law. <laughs> I can attest to that. Its directions were a little off just now. I'll take a look at it immediately. Who does this bangboo belong to? Oh, don't worry about that. A friend of mine left it here. It should be fine. Probably just a plug-in error caused by impact. I'll fix it up later. Let me give you a hand then. I almost forgot that. You know a thing or two about this too. All right, I'll leave this little guy to you. Yeah, let's fix him up. Let's fix him up. Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm enjoying this game. We did uh, we did Nekomata's um, like trust companion um, quest thingy, um, and then now we're just doing like chapter two point five, I guess you could call it. Had an Ellen cosplay coming in the mail <gasps> today, but Anime Japan canceled it. No, because they were out of stock. Oh, um, that's so that's so disappointing. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so sad. That would have been so cool to have. Man, drats. Well, hopefully it comes back in stock soon and you can you can get it again. Man, what a bummer. I hope you can I hope you can still get it soon. Yeah. I love Ellen. She's so cute. Not long after. Okay, we fixed the bang boo. What happened just now? You were in a car accident. I remember now, I went to grab the tools, and then a large white and green metal box suddenly took a turn. It seems that it, it really is a vehicle malfunction accident, like what she and Mr. Enzo said. Well, thanks for fixing the little guy for me, but it'll take a little more time to find out what's wrong with the car. Alright, I saw you already- or I saw you around my store earlier, were you looking for me? <clears throat> we need ducks, we need the ducks in there. <clears throat> I could get a size extra large, but I'm tall. I could get the extra large instead of the, um... Extra, extra large, but I'm afraid it's not fitting. Ah, ah, oh, thank you so much for the follow. You could always, you could always get it adjusted though, if it's too big. It comes with the tail too. That's so cool. Wait, I want one. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> I want one. Yeah, you could always get it taken in. Better big than too small, right? Right. I think a duck ran inside your shop. I see, I'll open the door for you all now. Please do, please do. What What do you mean old Enzo? He's not that old, he looks super young. The ducky, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at its head popping out. <laughs> it really is inside the store. This is great, I found one now. Thanks for helping me, Mr. Enzo. You're welcome. Well, I heard about the incident Give Change was involved in. I should help out too. But something is strange about Miss Megan's car, and she's very anxious, so I gotta help her first. You do what you need to do first. I'll leave it um, to you for now, then. I'll come and help out later after I've done over there. So it seems like cars are malfunctioning or something. Oh my god, I got a duck. <laughs> oh my god, I have a duck. <laughs> Wild duck out of its cage, a duck that escaped from the pig, uh, Pegasus truck, catch it and take it back, 
A new breed of domestic duck bred by a famous farm in Eridu Valley. The driver, Gale from Pegasus, was responsible for transporting them, but for unknown reasons, the vehicle's cargo compartment was opened and these priceless ducks scattered and escaped. OMG, OMG. Can I keep one? Can I please just keep one? Just one. I only want one. <laughs> please, 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 please. <laughs> Ah, please, just one, just one, just one, please, I'll take good care of it. <laughs> Steal it, grab it! <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> oh, it's adorable, oh my gosh. Wondering if I should get a nice Genshin cosplay? Ooh, have, have my um, first American Kong coming up? <gasps> nice, who would you be, who would you think of doing from Genshin? Ducky? <clears throat> Just one duck. Does the duck have lemonade? Oh, maybe. <laughs> you have any Rex? Hmm, from Genshin? I haven't played Genshin in so long. Probably, uh, preferably female or femme males? Hmm. Hmm. Do you have any re recommendations, Sierra, for cosplay from Genshin? I haven't played Genshin in so long, so I don't even really know any of the like recent characters that they have. I think something was just shaking inside the drink box. <gasps> it's just a crumpled up ball of paper. Looks to me like the wind just blew it over. Dang it. The ball of paper has been soaked by the rain. What rain? But I can still make out a few words. My life is growing duller by the day. Only now do I realize how stupid I was before and how much I've let you down. Forgive me and come back to me, okay? Oh, judging by the condition of the paper right now. Um, you have a pretty good idea of how the recipient responded. Um. <gasps> oh no, you're fine. You're fine, Rikosu. You're fine. The males, you can just say venti. <laughs> Two venti cosplays. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Despite being a tragedy, there's no use holding on to regrets. People have to take responsibility for their own actions. That's right. That's right. Um, since becoming a PubSec officer, I've witnessed this too many times to count. There are some more words on the back. Oh yeah, let's see. I swear I to completely forget about Melania, Sansa, Eleanor, and jo Because you are my true- Bruh. Hmm. Is the person who wrote the letter really apologizing? Don't you feel like they're bragging? <laughs> At least it's not a tragedy anymore. Correct as you may be, it's best practice to not snoop into others' private affairs. We should get down to business. Bro. My guy listed the names. Sounds like my ex. Disgusting. <coughs> oh man. Goro? I don't even know who Goro is. Did you listen to the two songs? Uh, I'll see which ones. <clears throat> what would you prefer? Do you want? Ellen or Belle cosplay? For myself? Probably Ellen. Probably Ellen. <clears throat> oh, oh, not yet. Not yet, Palsy. Um I saved them I saved them on my likes, so I'll probably listen to them um like on Monday when I'm listening to my Spotify um at work. <gasps> Becky in the truck? I usually forget, I usually don't really listen to Spotify on the weekends because, um, unless I'm like streaming, I like forget that it exists. <laughs> but I'll probably listen to it like in the car while I'm jamming. Yeah, and then I'll let you know. I'll let you know how I like them. <clears throat> here you are, Belle. What are you doing standing here? Uta, Furina, Daya, Navia, Raiden. I, Raiden sounds familiar. <clears throat> Just order the XL because it's in stock and roll with it. Heck yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let me know what you think when you hear them. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oppa! Here we go. I think I'm very big and at the bottom of the screen. Yep. <laughs> oh, where's my tail? Whoops, wrong one. There I am. There I am. Itty cat. Hello. <laughs> Kitty cat. 
<clears throat> all good options, all good options. Mm -hmm. Use Apple Music instead of Spotify? Ah, uh, I'm surprised I don't use Apple Music, but I I also, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I, I, I hate giving Apple my money. <laughs> I was like, I, I just like would rather give my money to anybody else. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but fuck. The frick apple, that's right. Uh, I know another streamer that has a cat model. These are so cute, the little bean boys. I actually have a, I actually have a redeem where you can make your own bean boy. Oh God. <clears throat> um, so this is, this is like my baby, right? This is my, this is the skyzy one, but but we have some some starlings some people in the chat here that have their own bean boys so we when we first got um this bean boy model we made like a chat 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 made one basically i was like okay chat what's what tail would you like what accessories would you like blah 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 so they made they made nimbus this is nimbus <laughs> this is nimbus they made chat made nimbus it's little nimbus and this is so this is nimbus and then i made i made my my model and then we had um i gave uh my sweet friend sansy one sansy really likes eevees so we made sansy an eevee familiar so this one we made look like eevee as much as possible and gave all sorts of little accessories and made it look really cute uh, yeah so cute, so cute. Uh, heterochromia eyes and pretty flowers. Yeah. And then um, Abyss is the one that um, actually bought this model for me off of Throne. So of course we had to give Abyss one. And this is Abyss's model. Ah, little devil. <laughs> little devil. Rah. <laughs> So cute, so cute. Yeah, and we actually ha we actually have two more, but I accidentally deleted the model off of my VTube Studio, so we lost the um, we lost we lost the models. I still have to remake the other two. We have we had a a be uh, a bang boo, um, that I made, and then Mimi also has one. Um, like I said, I I lost it because I was stupid. <laughs> I did a oopsie poopsie. Um. So, yeah, <laughs> I have to, I have to remake them. I'll probably do that tonight. <clears throat> I have some time tonight, so yeah. Yeah, so there's a redeem if you want to save up your points and make your own little bean boy. That's an option. Yeah, they're so cute. I love this little model. I would like to, in the future, um, either, I don't know if I want to do like a shibby of the new model after I debut or if I want to do like a like a cat model like this, but get like a custom one, you know? I think that would be cute. I think that would be cute. <clears throat> I'd like to do um, Dea, but I don't know that much skin. Ah. I work out plenty, but I'm as white as porcelain. Well, you know, skin color never stopped anybody from cosplay. You can cosplay whoever you want. <clears throat> Gonna be clear, Nahida. If I could cosplay someone. Nice. Uh... Yeah, you could use fake tan to darken your skin a little bit, but definitely don't like black face or anything like that. That's very bad. Yeah, the bean boy is so cute. So chonky and fluffy. I love him. Yeah, we don't want to go that far. <laughs> We don't want to go that far. Let's not do that. <laughs> There's a duck here. Where? Look, it's just underneath the convenience store truck. Oh, we need to get him out of there. <gasps> Clara from Star Wars. Cute. Uh, quick, just grab it. That's easy for you to say, Belle. It's hiding so far underneath the truck. I can't reach it. Oh, you're small. Kingy so small. Maybe we need to come up with another plan. Try quacking like a duck. Are you trying to sound like a hawk? What? You know they're the main predators of ducks, right? What? What? It's Gwen! Hi Gwen cutie! Hello! 
I'm a little stinky cat right now. <laughs> Gonna raid away to Yippee! Low that, low that, low that. Yippee! Low that. Hello, Queen Cat. A uh, cat? Another cat? <laughs> Om. I zoom. <laughs> I zoom. Hello, another cat. <laughs> Welcome in, welcome in, hi Raiders! Hello! I, oh guys, when, guys, when people are in my chat, and they like say hello, and then I'm like, oh, are you streaming later? And they're like, yeah, in a little bit, I'm like, cool, and then, and then they like come in later, like after, and I'm like, oh, how was your stream? And they're like, great, and then, then I'm like, cool, I've been streaming since before they started stream, and then after they ended stream, like, uh, what's happening? <laughs> I stream too long. <laughs> I stream too long. Ah, welcome in gamers, welcome in. Hi Jester, hi Shrimp, hi Queen, another kitty cat. I just realized I came in through two ra two raids. What? Hi Witty. How was lethal today? No worries, Witty. Thank you for the lurk. Hi Gwen. Hello. I've been here, but Gwen raid. Ah. Hi. You've only been going for four and a half? Ah, oh, cool, 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 cool. That's not too bad. It was so much fun. Yay! Did you did you get all the goods for the company? Did you do good job? Did you do good job for the company? I hope you did. I hope you did. But welcome in. Welcome in. For anybody who doesn't know me, hello. My name is Sky. I'm the Moon Goddess VTuber. And I don't usually look like this. This is my pure cat form. Uh, I look very innocent. Uh, but in fact, I am evil. I'm very evil, and I will steal your dreams or something. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's not real. That's not real. <laughs> None of that is real. <laughs> but what is real, what is real is I'm debuting uh, in officially in, wait, how many weeks is it? As of yesterday, one, two, three, four, five weeks. Five weeks! That's not the lore. That's not the lore. <laughs> and here's my cute little trailer. Check it out! <sighs> Are you ready for it? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a birthday debut. My birthday is September 13th. Um, so we're gonna party hard on a Friday. And uh, it's gonna be so much fun! It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so, so, so excited. It's my first official um, 1.0 debut. I've been using a customizable model for about a year and three quarters um, to decide if I really liked VTubing. Um, but this model has been a, a year in the making. So I guess I guess I did VTubing for like <clears throat> for like a year, and then I was like, "Yep, start making the model." <laughs> I started it. I designed the I designed the model myself, and then I found someone who I wanted to do the art and the rigging, and then I just started the whole process and blah 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 all that boring stuff. <laughs> all that boring stuff. So yeah, yeah. Um, but yes, Gwen, go get your food. Any raiders, if you need to go. Um, as well, eat, drink, sleep, get up and stretch your legs, anything like that, please do so, take care of yourselves. We are playing some Zenless, we're working on the, um, like, like, chapter 2.5, and, um, yeah, just, just working on chapter 2.5. We did Nakomata's, um, Trust Companion story, which was really fun, and, uh, yeah, we're just hanging out, having a good time, um, yeah, I hope you had a super fun time in Gwen's stream. If you are going to hang out or lurk, I would appreciate you refreshing the page to get rid of that question mark, referral equals raid, whatever weird thing in the URL. That would be much, much appreciated. It helps me out a lot. And um, I also have a Discord if you feel like hopping in. We always say good morning and good night to each other. It's a very chill, um, fun place. And we have a, we have a, a, a self-proclaimed addictive fishing game in there if you're ever bored. And you just want to click a button a billion times, um, you know. <laughs> you can play that too. You can join the the Starlin's Gone Fishing 
cult. I mean, fishing group, whatever. Remove the referral link. There's no referral link. It's just a Discord link. <laughs> it's just a Discord link. We just get more of you. Yeah. Sky time, sky time. <laughs> you sang the company song. What is the company song? Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. What's the company song? I want to hear it. Your birthday's in nine days? <gasps> Happy early birthday! That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The nineteenth? Yo, you gonna get crunk on a Monday? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Oh, that's so exciting! Oh, the twentieth! Let's go! You getting crunk on a Tuesday? <laughs> There's no referral link! Where did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> Where did this come from? <gasps> nap was so good, dude. I'm so glad you had a good nap. Yay! That reminds me, time to hop back on the boat. What boat? Oh, the fishing boat. <laughs> You're in Japan till the 17th? Cool! Dude, I would love to go to Japan. Oh, the raid referral in the Euro. I see, I see. <clears throat> Not even a please or thank you. What the fuck? Should <laughs> Lived here for two years. <gasps> wow, how has it been? Is it your first time there? Like, it was was it your first time there when you went two years ago? How has your experience been? <clears throat> Moving back for work. Wow. Funny enough, the update for this game comes out on my birthday, the 14th. Yo, let's go, Jax! What a nice birthday present! Yo, you gonna get the rat for your birthday? Ah! What a birthday! Oh, sheesh! <laughs> what a birthday present! Let's go. <laughs> the rat! It's been amazing, but I'm ready to return to the States. We might come back in a few years. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Music and vids. Always oh, gotta open. Okay. Whoa, papa. Hold on. Pause. Pause. More money to be had in the States. Oops, sorry, I got distracted. Yes, please, and thank you. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Cracking the whip. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see this. My flashlight wouldn't turn on. Hello, sir. Could you take that, please? Thank you. You have to sing the company song. This is for the company. <laughs> the way it worked? <laughs> That's it? That's the song? Bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the model does not support lint, but I will give you lint for free 99. Lint. A boop. Lint can be my my bow. Yay! It's it's for the company. <laughs> I swear to God, if Spotify recommends me another sped up song again. <laughs> Hi, Twitch. Hi, welcome. 
I did say I was gonna convert deliver us from the Prince of Persia. Oh my god. You mean the Prince of Egypt? Ah! <laughs> Do not disrespect dream words like that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you probably really tired. <laughs> <laughs> Lint the true streamer. Come on, Lint. Let's get this shit going. Let's go. From what I know about my sister, she's probably trying to mimic some duck like species. Wait! Oh, that's why I was saying that. Cut me some slack, bitch. Wise, I'm gonna. I know where you sleep, Wise. I know where you sleep. You better. Deliver this for the company. <laughs> yeah, dude just woke up. Dude's not functioning on all cylinders right now. Hi, Vinyl. Hi, welcome in. Congratulations on your five star bits. Hug. I hope you're having a great day today. Maybe, could we get the truck owner to start the car? That's gonna freak the hell out of the duck and it's gonna run away. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard, King Yi. I swear to God. Maybe the duck will run out if it feels the car moving. That's so dangerous. Gotta go for a bit and make some food? Of course, have some good food, Jester. I hope you share when you come back. Uh, mm. Makes sense to me. What? I can't. I'll go find the convenience store, Bangboo. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You want me to start the engine? No problemo! Um, it won't start. He didn't even try. That's unlucky. At now of all times. He has a book tied to his head with his ears? Doesn't that hurt his ears? Oh my god. <clears throat> Ducks don't work that way. They only run when you chase them. IDIOT! <laughs> Strange. There must be something wrong with the truck. It worked just fine this morning. What? Maybe! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hello gamers! Oh my god! I'm the luckiest little girl. I'm the luckiest little cat. Oh my god. Gwen was just here with her friends and now Mimi is here with her friends. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I oh my god. Mimi. How was your stream today? How many... How many hours did you get knocked off? How many hours did the gamers add? This is more important. Together forever. Together forever. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Oramaki. Welcome in. You want potatoes with nacho chi- Bro, pota Any form of potatoes, I will take in my mouth. Give, 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 give. Mimi, hello. Hi, Dance. Hi, Fonz. Hi, hi, hi. <clears throat> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I have a. <laughs> I just. Oh my god, Sky is a cat! I'm a kitty! I'm a kitty! Welcome, everybody! You joined the Discord? Yay! You're so welcome! Welcome! Hi! Hi, Tiny! Five and a half hours ish. Okay, we started. Today, with 15 hours and 53 minutes on the clock, we ended stream today with 17 hours. That's what I'm fucking talking about, gamers! Together forever! <laughs> Great job, gamers! Great job! Great job. We keep the subathon going. Roar. <laughs> we keep the subathon going until my subathon starts. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Sky, there's a joke I could make, but I just won't. Okay, sure. <laughs> I love this for you, Mimi. S suffer from success. Suffer from success. <laughs> I understand, Mimi, love. I hope you have an amazing weekend with Caleb. I love you so, so much. Happy, happy, happy as a birthday, my angel love. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. 
I love you so much. Hello for anybody who doesn't know me. My name is Sky. I'm the Mungara's VTuber. I don't usually look like a little kitty cat, but I do right now. Um, but guess what? I am debuting in, as of yesterday, five weeks. Five weeks. That's crazy. Check out my debut trailer. It's so cool. Look it, look it, look it. Baby, let the games begin. Let the games begin. Okay, like 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 at least like one out of ten times. I can't help it. I have to sing the, the continuation of the song. Okay. <laughs> I'm debuting. I'm debuting, Ken. I am. <laughs> Uh, I am so ready for fall. I want my pumpkin spice white girl shirt right now. Soon, trip. Soon. 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 Bye, Mimi. I love you so much. I love you. 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 Look at my little stuffies. I love you. 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 I love that song. Me too. Me too. I debut. you. Stinky bean debut. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna be so stinky. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited to show you everything. I'm so excited to introduce you to the new me. I'm so excited to introduce you to the new you. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I hope your second B-Day stream was grand. It looks like we did some Fortnite gaming. Probably some other... Um, some other community gaming probably was doing some carrying in the fork and knife crazy paw gamer Mimi mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. probably all real and true probably all real and true um but yes if any of the other um any of the raiders at the other raiders who came along with Mimi also need to go eat drink sleep get up stretch your legs anything like that um please please do so go take care of yourselves and um yeah <laughs> Dude, my brain. Um, if you are here to hang out for a little bit um, and lurky lurk and or lurky lurk, um, I would appreciate if you refresh the page, get rid of that question mark referral equals raid and the URL. That's that's stinky. We don't like that. Um, I would really, really appreciate that. It helps out a lot. Um, but yeah, we're just playing some. I almost said Honkai. We're not playing Honkai. We're playing Zenless. Zenless on zero. Um, we're just doing some story, like two, chapter 2.5, I say, I would say. Um, yeah, we're just doing some story, hanging out with our favorite cop ladies, and, uh, yeah, just hanging out. Just hanging out, having a good time. Yeah, yeah. I hope you all have a super fun time with Mimi. I can't wait to hang out with her again on Tuesday. I won't be streaming Tuesday, so I can actually hang out for the whole stream. Um, well, not the whole stream, because I'll be working, but, like, as soon as I get home, I'll be, I'll be around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'll be setting up my new mic on Tuesday too. <gasps> Pog. I'm. I have the same the same mic as Mimi now. Well, I will when I set it up. But like I like I own it now. <laughs> Me and Mimi like don't like. I wish I wish I could say that we coordinate it to like have the same shit all the time. But we don't. We literally don't. Like I I found an emote artist that I liked, and I was like, okay, I'm commissioning these many emotes. Blah blah blah, and. The emote artist was like, okay, sweet. I put you in the, in the, in the list, the, like the wait list. I was like, cool. I went and looked at the wait list. Boom. Mimi's name was there. I was like, what? I messaged her. I'm like, we have the same emote artist. She was like, what? And I was like, yeah, no way. I didn't even know. <laughs> and then yesterday in her stream, I'm like, I was unpacking my mic this morning and I was like, hold on. I went and looked at her VOD. I'm like, that's the same mic. I'm, I literally am unpacking right now, except hers is white and mine is black. I'm like, but I'm. I didn't even realize that the mic that I literally contributed towards, I put the money towards to give to Mimi, is the same, <laughs> same mic. <laughs> like I'm so, like we don't plan this. We don't plan this. We are just literally that much of soulmates. It just happens like that. It just happens like that because we're soulmates. It's so true. It's true. It just happens like that. It's crazy. <laughs> That's just how it is, gamers. That's just how it is when you're soulmates. It's true. Ah! Get deformed! Bye-bye!
Bah. Hello. I'm part human again. Oh, get fucking sniped. <laughs> that explains why you were comfortable with it, because it was familiar. Well, I've also seen other streamers use it. A lot of other streamers use it. <clears throat> and it has a lot of really, really good reviews. And um, I've seen a lot of other... Um, I've, I've seen a lot of other posts um, on Twitter and stuff. People like being like, what do you, what microphones do you recommend? And then I would like look at the comments and a majority <clears throat> of comments and stuff would be from, not from, would be about the, that mic. <clears throat> All that stuff. Rip Bozo, you like the kitty better than me? But, 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 I'm so cute. I'm so cute. I'm so cute though. My mom canceled her trip because of money and now I'm stuck at home again. No, no bath! You can come over for the tub if you want. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> tell her to go, tell her to go for dinner or something. And you can, you can take a bath. <laughs> a little cheeky mic. He's so I'm so excited to see how see how it works. We're gonna do a we're gonna do the test test one two three on we next Wednesday. Hopefully everything works out. The Karopi frog is <laughs> with the so good. I think all three of us have the same mic. Hey yo, it's a good mic. It's a good mic. The recommend like the the reviews are really really good. I think it's a very good. It's very well priced. And it's a very good upgrade. It's not like a it's not like a super professional mic. Like it's still a USB mic, but it's also a very good upgrade from what I have. So um I think it'll be I think it'll be a great upgrade. Yeah. Choose my mic based on brand recognition and the features. Yeah, yeah. I think it I think it'll be a great upgrade. Because <clears throat> right now I found I find when I watch my VODs. And there's like no music in the background or anything because I when we're chatting I play I play whatever music I want right and so I have it muted for the VOD so when I listen to my VODs back I notice that every time I talk there's like a, a hissing in the background whenever I talk into the mic so it's the mic hissing as well as picking up my voice so it's I don't know why it does that and I don't know how to fix it <clears throat> but um yeah, it's really annoying. Now that I've noticed it, it's really fucking annoying. <laughs> if there's like sound in the background, it's fine. You don't really notice it. Like game sound or whatever, you don't really notice it at all. But me watching the VOD back, I, I hear it and it's really annoying. <clears throat> what mic do you have now? I have a blue snowball. And so I've used it for like almost four years of streaming. It's been an amazing mic to have. Don't like, don't get me wrong. It's a great mic. <clears throat> But um, yeah, I think it's time to I think it's time to upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First thing I upgraded was my PC, which I think is the most important because I started streaming on a Mac laptop, which was absolute shit. <laughs> so that was definitely the first thing that needed to be upgraded. Um, so yeah, now it's uh, now it's mic time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I and then I paid for the VTuber model and all that. So <clears throat> yeah. How dare you not choose the U67 Newman mic? Don't you backseat my mic shopping. <laughs> Start to upgrade once I eventually stop being lazy and get affiliate. Jens, I believe in you. I believe in you. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. What terrible luck today? Gift change got in trouble and now the truck's broken down for no reason? Oh, look. It's another, it's another vehicle that's not working properly. It's some kind of vehicle issue that's going on here. Bro, that mic, isn't that mic like 10k? Oh, what? Why is it so expensive? Give change is always um, with us. If the owner thinks give change has done something bad, we will get separated. Don't worry, we'll find all the lost ducks and the officers will get to the bottom of this accident and you won't get separated. Thank you. But what should we do about the duck under the truck? The best place to find a helping hand is at the end of your own arm. <laughs> Let me handle this. Oh my god. She pushes the truck over to the side. Just with her bare hands? Why did she just freaking do that in the first place? Oh my god. 
I mean, if I, I was backseating, mic shopping, I don't think the first thing I'd go for is a $7,000 mic. Oh my god. It's 8k and it's expensive because it's a Newman. Ah. I just noticed the game you're playing. I'm trying so hard not to wail on it. Jans, listen, I've already wailed. And the rat's coming out and I'm gonna wail even harder. I, I, um. <laughs> Whoa, that was hardcore. Now that we've retrieved the duck, let's look somewhere else. She doesn't She doesn't even care. She doesn't even care. After some searching, you and Y's counter catch, and it seems only one duck is on the loose. Elliot Moose. He's on the loose. At that moment. Huh? There's a DM from Fairy. Seems like a biological signal has been detected near the back of the parking lot. Let's go take a look. Oh my god, her ass was right there. I think I was blocking it. A duck! I have another duck. Where'd she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from? Cotton Eye Joe. No, seriously, where did she go? Where's my cop, babe? Ah! She was right here in my vision, and I've lost her forever. Oh. It's like the Audi of mic industry. Damn, professional recording microphone for like voice acting booth. Oh, that makes sense. And music recording, I see. At Taylor Swift mic. Had a blue, blue Yeti <clears throat> for like six years and it finally busted on me. Definitely didn't knock it off my desk. Oh no! <laughs> Replaced it with an AKG Lyra Y3 for like uh, 9K yen, 60 bucks maybe. It's working well, nice, nice. Spent five hours re-rolling on release. Ayo. <laughs> the duck! Speaking of rolling. Buh. <laughs> Gotta stay up at whack hours because I have middle of the night US time job interviews. Oh no, really? Woke up at 4 p.m. and it's 11 a.m. now? Jeez, the time zones, man. Standard guarantee? Who did you want? Jens? A wild duck out of its cage! Get him! He's so cute! How naive of you! You really think you can just hide here and everything would be just fine? Listen, you may be a fugitive, but it's- <laughs> Calling a duck a fugitive is crazy! <laughs> but it's still not too late to- Oh my god, handlebars. He's right there. Yo, King Yi kinda got that booty though, too. Sheesh. God damn. Uh, but it's still not too late to turn things around. I suggest you surrender and turn yourself in. The dock. Dot dot dot. <laughs> cut, cut a deal with us. We can still talk it out. Keep resisting. <laughs> and it'll get... <laughs> or look, I know you guys are having lots of fun, but I'm gonna pass on this one. <laughs> Kingy, we better grab it before it runs away again. <laughs> Kingy effortlessly stuffs the fugitive into her sack. My god. Kingy, you about to make a diplomacy incident with a duck? I can't. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Quack. <laughs> so cute. Thank you for your hard work. The driver just DM'd. Um, others also sent back the ducks they found while they were searching. Plus the one we just caught, that's all of them. Awesome. The ducks were all hiding in really obscure spots. It was all thanks to you noticing those places at all. If it, if I hadn't been with you the whole time, I might have suspected that you were actually the ones hiding ducks. <laughs> or that you had some other way of knowing all the goings-ons around the neighborhood. He has pretty much busted us here. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be a compliment, but it came out a bit weird. I'm sorry, I only meant to say that these two could make good pup pupsec officers. Ooh. Now that we found all the ducks, let's get back to the truck. Ooh, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Huh, Belle, look over there. Are our headlights flashing? Yeah, something's going on with the vehicles! Let's go take a look. What the heck? Oh, ducky. What the heck? The lights are on. Did you forget to turn them off after you drove the car last time? 
Build your 11 and Vaughn in one reset. I just played on with that. Nice. Trying so hard not to wail um, the solo leveling game too. What do you mean the solo leveling game? But I did turn them off. Strange. I definitely turned them off. And it was dark when I came back. I'd have noticed if I left the lights on. Wise opens the car door and tries to turn the lights off. What's going on? I can't turn them off. Is something wrong with the switch? I don't know, but nothing happens when I press it. The battery's gonna die at this rate. I'd better manually disconnect them for now. Oh, I haven't even heard of that, Jens. Weird. And we had the car service not that long ago. How could it go wrong so soon? Why does that sound familiar? Wait, why is... Is it just me, or does what you just said sound familiar? <sighs> What's wrong, Chingy? Something on your mind? All the incidents we've encountered today are somehow related to vehicles. They're finally catching up. I'm the real- I'm the real pubsec officer here! Now that you mention it, you're right. The van in the convenience store wouldn't start, the car that just pulled out of the remodeling shop broke down, and now, Weisenbell's car lights won't turn off. If we count the missing ducks from Pegasus Logistics, that's already four vehicles involved. If we count the car accident the other afternoon, that's five. That was my fault, actually. That was my fault, actually. My cell phone was malfunctioning, and it distracted me. Well, that's another electronic that's malfunctioning, though. Either way, just don't stare at your phone while walking anymore. Oh, at the- oh, okay. Huh? Bell's cell phone malfunctioned before the car accident at Lumina Square? What kind of malfunction? What kind of malfunction? Well, my cell phone suddenly lost signal, and a bunch of colorful stripes appeared on the screen, but it went back to normal soon after. <gasps> I knew it. Remember, Chingy? The driver said he was on the phone at the time of the car accident. If I'm right, something else must have been going on back then. Right. That's probably why Give Change said it felt dizzy too. What are you and Jingyi talking about? I think we've finally figured out what's really behind all the recent incidents. Free to play, friendly, and the gameplay is fun as hell, really? Never trust Gacha based on manga or anime to not shut down in a year? Oh. <clears throat> We're gonna mess with them using cars. Tried to kill you on the first part. <laughs> For now, let's get the ducks back Rip. and see if we can confirm a few things along the way. Meet us near the truck later, and I'll explain everything. Okay. I figured it out like 20 minutes ago, but okay. How many ducks do I have now? Ah, they took my ducks! No, my ducks. Hmm. Hi, kitty. Hi. Here you are, Belle Wise. Thank helping me and getting the ducks back. Are Zhu Yuan and Jing King Yi here? Zhu Yuan and Ching Yi told us to wait for them here. Did they come by? No. Yeah, they were here. The green officer checked on me, and the red one asked me questions, which I didn't quite understand. Oh, yeah. Here's all that happened. They just came and measured the Bangboo's electrical current data logs, <sighs> asked a weird question, then left in a hurry. What did they ask? Could you tell us what they asked? They asked me if my cell phone had malfunctioned in any way, since I'd been on the phone during the incident. My phone actually did turn itself off out of nowhere, but how did they know that? What? Your cell phone malfunctioned too? Mm. Something just occurred to me, Belle. Everything that's happened these past few days, could it all be caused by EMP? Possible, yep. You're quite right, Wise. Zhu Yuan, Ching Yi, you're back. Have you ever heard of an EMP emitter, sir? I can't say I have. What's that? When activated, it causes a sudden change of current in nearby electronic equipment resulting in component failures or, at worst, 
completely burning out the equipment. You're so like, obviously, you dumb bitch. <laughs> this is basic knowledge. Idiot. <laughs> Using EMP, someone could open the electronic I love her. She's just like... without even touching it easily. At the moment your door was opened, not only did your phone malfunction, but Give Change experienced a sudden surge of current, all indicative of an EMP attack. So you mean this Bang Boo is a victim just like me? And someone else is at fault? Yeah, and you yelled at him. Yes, we believe that to be the case. Uh, I shouldn't have been so hot-headed. Yeah. What I said before, <laughs> Give Change, I'm sorry I misjudged you. You have my sincerest apology. Thank you for apologizing. Don't worry. I'm just relieved to know that I won't be separated from my partners. So, who is the culprit, officers? Have you caught them? Electronic Monkey Pulse sends millions of microscopic monkeys to enter your electronic devices and destroy them from the inside out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Our colleagues are checking the surveillance records. We should be able to identify the culprit real soon. They launched multiple EMP attacks today. So if we check all the passersby near the crime scenes, we can narrow down our search. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Officer Zhu Yuan, we've investigated the surveillance records and have a suspect. We are currently tracking him near the street exit. Should we detain him for questioning? Oh, no, just let him go. Immediately. Well done. Understood. Ah, officer, the suspect has fled. He's heading toward your location. Fucking get him! Jimmy, come on, we'll stop him. Jiwan and King Li, uh, Jing Li immediately head off to cut the enemy off and ambush them, and you and Rise follow suit. Get him. Later, next to Companion Hollow on 14th Street. Uh, okay. Hey! hey! What are you doing? Get him! <laughs> oh, not that cat! Oh my god, it's the chonker! How dare you! Oh my god, was that a shop at bo Oh, he went in the hollow. Caught the chonker, she did. This is Ju Yuan. The suspect has fled into the hollow. We're pursuing him inside. Copy that. <sighs> I'd have thrown it harder if I had known he was so tough. How are things going? The culprit ran into the hollow and we're going after him. You two can head back now. Let's follow them and see what happens, Wise. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes later, inside the video store. Zhu Yuan and Ching Yi have gone into the hollow. While I'm sure they can handle the situation, let's head in too. <laughs> I wouldn't mind teaching that guy a lesson myself. You look angry, Wise. Whoa, you're pretty angry. You almost got into an accident because of him. I won't let him get away with it. Besides, he's Protective caused so bro. much trouble on 6th Street. He needs to be held accountable for what he's done. I can't believe that guy took a fucking, like, metal thing straight to the back, and that didn't out him. Holy. You just... Ali Ali nittied that cat? Huh? What does that mean? Well, trying not to die before Chapter 3 challenge, if possible. <laughs> so you're ready. He's Let's been in go. a lot of trouble, yeah. Just remember to keep your distance from the officers while we're in the hollow. They are on the job, after all. Well, if you're ready, we can head out. Fairy, besides paying attention to Bell's safety, also keep an eye out for anything we can do to help Yuan and King Lee. King Yi. Second assistant. <laughs> I love that she calls him second assistant. Oh, I didn't know that. <clears throat> the hollow information I have is... Why would she do that? And bitch. I have is more comprehensive than the temporary carrot issued by PubSec. I can provide effective help. However, please note that the previous verbal threats used by PubSec officers were ineffective methods of pursuit. It is recommended to shoot at the target's legs to immobilize it. <clears throat> uh, fairy security officers can't use force recklessly when apprehending suspects, let alone shoot them. Speaking of which, a hollow might be a good place to catch such a slippery person. Yeah. It was on her desk. She took it and threw it behind her head? 
Jesus Christ. Um, mine is stronger. Ready for combat. Nip, did you call me? Nothing. It's out. Nip, so huh? Did you call me? What? Hold on. No. Uh, I promise. I'll spare no effort. What did you need? Ice and ether. Oh. Well, in that Nothing. case, come on. Nothing to easy. Officer one, touch mate, huh? Is it Officer one forty eight? G, we'll get it done. What are you? That's terrible. Why would you? Hello. Jesus! God, she's hot. Oh my! The heat signature is moving west. The precinct's carrot won't last forever. If we act fast, we can catch the suspect before he gets away. Yeah, let's keep going. Walk up to a hero like, Hello, how are you Master, doing? Order <laughs> Assisting security <laughs> officers Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi in pursuing the fugitive. And Qing Yi has like a cool spear thing? He's so cool. Multiple biosignatures detected ahead. Presumably the targets requiring assistance. Gaiden, I'm so sorry. Please utilize your size advantage to approach quietly and provide assistance when needed. Surrender now! Give it up! Bell, listen. They're down there. I click this? There you go. Am I supposed to go there? Oh. Doesn't get a freaking eat this. Oppa. Ugh, it's an EMP. Jingy, are you hold on? Ethereals are coming our way. Were they attracted by the EMP? Let's fend them off first. Bell, huh? let's take a closer look. Shut up! My god, I have to say hi to Blight. God, duh. <laughs> I don't know why that doesn't get a freaking alert, but thank you so much for for the tier one. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you got two tarbas now. Let's freaking go. Hello, welcome, welcome. The anime fools yap and freaking wise never shuts the hell up. <laughs> How are you doing? <clears throat> so nice to see you. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. How are you? How are you doing? I think the game works better when you play as wise because Bell bosses him around and Fairy is more passive aggressive with her. No, I like when Fairy is passive aggressive against Be him. Careful. It's really funny. The ethereals are at the head. Don't worry. I have a full set of ammo with me today. No wonder you were a top student. You're always prepared. Is this what you meant when you said, expect the unexpected? All I'm reading is you getting bossed around by girls. <laughs> Do you like getting bossed around by girls? Oppa! I'm good. Just got back from staying with friends in um, voice. Oh, nice. I hope you had a good time. Get the hell away from my Ellen. Orders received. Yeah. 
Anyways, I started blasting. Finally rid of all those ethereals. I mean, I am friends with Gweba, true. He is Gweb now. Gwebby. <laughs> I didn't expect the EMP emitter to affect Ethereal so much. They just keep showing up. If we let him get away, he might continue causing trouble. Yeah, and having one means he's likely connected to some sort of gang. We have to find him and get to the bottom of this. You know what I was thinking is that someone said that they don't like the character designs in ZZZ. I don't remember where this was or who said it, but... And I was thinking that's probably because they're not as, like, phantasical um, in this game as they are in Genshin and Honkai, which is, like, totally understandable. They're, they're much more, like, normal looking. <laughs> but I freaking love the characters in this game. <clears throat> and I'm just thinking of it because um, Kingy has, like, orbs in her, in her pigtails. See how she has orbs, like, down lower? And that's, like, the most, like, fantastical thing I've seen on any of the characters so far. <clears throat> Someone told me this guy has an EMP. The last thing I would think is that he's in a gang. Why, shrimp? <laughs> I don't really like the character designs as easy because it's um, released with so many lolis and furries. Well, there's one furry. I get the, the loli concept. I mean, I feel like Corrin's the only lolly, really. They're more stylized. Yeah, I like that about it. They're so much more grounded. Yeah, they're more realistic, which is what I what I like. <clears throat> it is a different style, yeah. I like it, though. Two biker girls, Nekomata, arguably borderline teens. Let's check yeah. around for anything that could indicate where he's gone. No need. He went right. Huh? How'd you figure that out so fast? Trace is in the snow, marks in the sand. Observe the subtle to catch the culprit from afar. It's a skill. I didn't even I didn't even think about <laughs> I forgot that he's like a full ass bear. Uh, hold on, uh let me write that down. Uh, slower this time. How did you figure it out? Hmm. Traces in the snow, marks in the sand. Uh, is there a less mysterious way to put it? You make it sound like just a feeling. Hmm, yeah. I guess it is based on a feeling. My right hand feels numb. Ah, uh, I didn't realize the EMP would affect you like that. Are you okay? Yeah. It's nothing serious. It's just... Can we rough him up a bit? The thing is though, happen? like, is it really lolly when, like... Like, this game isn't meant to, like, sexualize everyone? <laughs> like... Yeah, they're not, they're not sexualized, like... <laughs> they're in pants or shorts or... Like... <laughs> it's not, you know... <clears throat> well, guess we just have to catch him fast then. That EMP emitter is such a pain in the neck. You and Eos need to be careful. Yeah, we do. The officers are still chasing the culprit. We should keep going. More that I didn't like the initial roster, rather than I don't uh, like the character design ethos of the game itself. Every new and upcoming character are hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Chingy, Guy and I are trying like a bracelet. That's dangerous. Hey, Cass. <laughs> the Bang Boo can't reach the hole in the wall. There might be a way if we can fix this mechanism. I have connected to the damaged circuit. Master, I found the cause of the damage. A short circuit. You can touch the circuit components and move them around to connect the circuit. Oh. Uh, Try touching a circuit component. Oh. The circuit has been fixed. Yippee! Ooh. 
just checking everything. Whoa. Great. <laughs> We've caught up. How did they catch up again? They're not getting through here. You bitch boy. It's closed. We'll have to try and break it open. Look, the switch is right there. We might be able to fix it. <clears throat> Fans make it weird and it bums me out. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of characters, should I go for hamburger? Get an hamburger for dinner? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's just the lolly designs that I dislike. Not really whether they're sexualized or not. That's fair. Yeah. Same with Genshin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. The internet was a mistake. True. Corn really, um, is Corn really a lolly because she's actually just a child? Well, and also it's just unfortunate that she's in the, um, the maid faction or whatever. She's in that outfit too. <laughs> Chingy, something flew by just now. No, 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 nothing flew by. Imagining it. Let's connect the circuit, just like last time. The circuit has been fixed. Hey, yippee! I'm so smart. The door's open. You're incredible, Chingy. That's strange. I barely used any force just now. Problem solved. Oh. Let's follow them. Yay. Better for the new banner shoe. Me too, rat! <laughs> Don't use the EMP. It'll draw the ethereals here. Like I care. They're over there. Buh, how do I get those? Signs of an EMP being used here, too. Okay. Oh, I can repair this. I think it'd be set for Ellen, who is in a much skippier outfit than Corrin, yeah. Ellen is a minor, but she's not a lolly. Meh. The circuit Yay. has been fixed. <clears throat> I'll tell the Twitter artist that um. Oh, That's the way. Let's get all the goodies. Okay, making sure I'm not missing anything. We did it. Yippee! I told the Twitter artist that. Me? Oh yeah! Ha! A single ethereal is no match for me. Uh, <laughs> are there so many of them. Because you keep using your fucking EMP, bitch. <laughs> what a satisfying moment. That's what you call karma. You think I would write Iron Mouse, Mouse Sierra? Uh, uh, uh. We have to I want to throw him. up just thinking about it. Hmm, I wonder if there's any gifts around here for me. Okay, fine, I'll help. <laughs> yeah, I 
like it too. I like it too. It's a cool little... <clears throat> like a little mini game. I like it. Whoa! Just don't come any closer! I can hear the suspect. Let's go! There's no rush. Let him scream a little longer. That's right. Me? Now isn't the time to be vindictive. No, be vindictive. <laughs> yeah. hmm. He sounds like he's doing okay. I know you're angry at him, but we still have to help him. Not that bad. <laughs> Out of the way. <laughs> so you. Clear out. There's to run. What did that say? <laughs> Something moron. Don't come any closer. How do these ethereals catch up to me? It's EMP usable. Throw up out of nerves, big platformer. Yeah. What Iron Mouse do? I don't keep up with the V2. Oh yeah, no, she didn't do anything wrong. No. I would, I would, oh my god. I can, I barely have the guts to rate someone who has like 50 viewers. <laughs> Never mind like 7,000. All right, calm down. Uh, there's Ethereals! Ethereals, help! Do we look like fucking Ethereals to you, bitch? Calm down, sir. All the Ethereals around here have already been eliminated. You're safe now. R really? Uh, the Ethereals are... I'm safe? Uh, you, you're the pub sec officers from before! What's wrong? Didn't expect us to- <laughs> Oh yeah, Shrimp! <laughs> uh, no. I mean... I'm just surprised, is all. I mean, I've been causing problems for you all, and there were so many ethereals nearby, but... You still took the risk of coming to rescue me. What nonsense. Protecting citizens is our duty as officers. But as they say, what goes around comes around. If it weren't for your misuse of the EMP in town, you wouldn't have found ethereals nearby. Damn. Well, wait, was that a poll? No. According to New Eridu laws and regulations, my colleague and I are arresting you for illegal possession of a dangerous weapon and endangering the safety of others. What's your name? Carlo Maroon. Oh. <laughs> the thing before I clicked on him, it said Carlo Maroon, his name. It's, I thought it said something moron. <laughs> Thank you for cooperating, Mr. Maroon. You have the right to remain silent. Once we're out of the hollow, you can contact the lawyer or get assistance from the attorney's association. We should make our way back to the precinct, Chingy. Uh, hmm? why, why are you looking around? I kept feeling like there was someone else here besides us. But the feeling suddenly vanished. Opa. Like who? You think there are other ethereals nearby? Not an ethereal. Something smaller and She's more so agile. keen. Carlo Maroon like my hat, like my little beanie. Could just be my imagination. <laughs> I mean, I did suffer several EMP attacks today. So my senses could still be a bit overwhelmed. Let's go. After we drop off Maroon at the precinct, we should go back to 6th Street and tell everyone the good news. Yeah. You should do that. Yeah. She's not keen. She's king. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh well. I did it. Uh, damn. So Kaku is doing damage. Shrimp, do not redeem high on the will! I got an ethereal waiting for you right here between these two. Hey, that was close. Can you use intuition is sharper than we thought? She actually sensed you were nearby. Lucky she didn't try to dig deeper. Nevertheless, the culprit was apprehended. We can finally relax now. Do! Now! Yeah, it's what I told you the other day. Squaku often outdamages my Ellen depending on the kind of fights. Yeah, and I just like buffed everyone. I gave them all. Um, <clears throat> the proper disk drives, a bunch of disk drives and shit, so 
Bye for now. No. Bo King Yi and Zhu, Zhu Yuan um, are going to report back to uh, report back about their. Sorry, I'm I'm reading this all real. I got in stream soon. Bell. King Yi and Zhu Yuan are going to report back about the arrest soon. They'll probably talk about the driver and give change first. Let's go take a look. Okay, let's do that. Hog. Hog. Bro, I just short circuited like the bang boo. I need a readjustment. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. It showed up fine. I can't thank you two enough for today. Now you're welcome. It's an officer's duty and privilege. Public security will contact you for any compensation. Oh no, I saw it. It didn't say anything was deleted. I saw the sky.exe. <laughs> you're back already. Looks like you've caught the culprit. Yeah. We just brought him to the precinct and finished our preliminary interrogation. How did the interrogation go? How did the interrogation go? It went well. He confessed to his crimes. He claims his initial intention was to use the EMP emitter to steal vehicles, but a lack of expertise led to various unintended outcomes. Isn't it strictly forbidden to possess an EMP emitter in the city? How did he manage to get a hold of such a device? Um, the culprit is a member of a Hollow Raider gang. According to him, they illegally manufactured several EMP emitters to bypass vehicle security systems. I see. We'll interrogate him again to uncover what the Hollow Raiders are up to. Rest assured, we won't let them get away with it. He a gang? Don't talk shit about my car. <laughs> Damn. Are all my Tinder matches DaVinci resolved because they stopped responding after five sec- Oh my god, Shrimp. Where's Mrs. Shrimpy? But I can't disclose more details about the investigation. I hope you understand. Well, that's about it. We'll be heading back to the precinct now for the second interrogation. Hold on for a moment, officers. Oh, General Chop. Was there something you'd like to ask about the case? No, no, you've explained everything clearly. Actually, a few neighbors and I have something we'd like to say. Aww. Your help today is greatly appreciated. Not only did you clear give change of any suspicion, but you also prevented the culprit from causing more harm in the future. And I'd like to apologize for my rudeness earlier. After speaking with my neighbors, we've decided to attend the safety lecture on Saturday. Here are the questionnaires we filled out. Uh Really? Well, it's aimed at enhancing resident safety awareness after all, so it wouldn't hurt to attend. We heard you were ordered to come here and prepare for the event by Bringer. We can't let outstanding officers like you fail your mission just because we're unhappy with him, can we? Oh, you're too kind. Protecting the safety of the citizens is our duty, but your willingness to attend the lecture helps us a lot too. Can I also have a questionnaire, officers? I want to attend the lecture, too. Great. In the end, things turned Yay. out well for everyone. For this reason, we would like to increase our taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what you call a win-win situation. Yep. Not long after, Zhiyuan and King Yi uh, leave with the crowd dispersing soon after. It's already quite late at night by the time you take give change to Enzo to get checked. So many things have happened today. It's getting late. I should hurry back and get some sleep. Uh, some silly baby. We're actually going to bed. Wait, do I have anything for my for my board? <gasps> get there! Uh 
cute. So cute. Or in bed. I was only thinking of saying hi to Juan and the others today. I didn't expect that I would end up so busy. But no. I feel when no ducks for the memory board. I know, that's pretty sad. You still backing him? I don't want to read about politics. I am pretty tired today. Finally don't need to worry about the lecture now. <laughs> Pass the fuck out. Your citizen XX. I'm not XXX. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to change the greeting template and actually sent it. Purr. Quit that thing, cute. <laughs> it's me, your kind of friendly neighbor opposite Mew Mew. Okay. Is it Mew Mew? That's our next- that's our next main quest, is to go to Lumina Square to see Mimiu? Okay. That. Mimiu never forgets to say Meowdy. Never ever. Ah, uh, hello there! How about a Tin Master special for a little pick-me-up? <clears throat> Thank you. Sometimes, stopping to take a break can help you go further. Touch me, take Officer 148, Ju Yuan, ready. Alright, why can't I do this? Oh, level 35. Two guns standing by. Mm -hmm. Let's take a break. I'll help you win. My lunch is on you. Funny, don't look down on me. Okay, any. You missed one? What? Boleda? Mm. Officer, is it you want to test my hammer? What do you mean? You want to talk about designs? No, someone mentioned Coleda. Hey, don't look down on me! You want to test my hammer? Someone mentioned her. I love Coleda. She's very cute. Very, very cute. It's a bedtime, gamers. Go wet. Go wet. Yeah. Wow. Yay, we did it. We did the good gaming time. Yippee! Thanks for hanging out with me today. That was very fun. Very, very fun. Thank you so much for being here. One last time, I need your roar. Thank you for being here, Sierra. No more, so one last time. Thank you. Thank you all the new people who came in. So many so many people just, just randomly showed up today. Rikosu, Rick, um, Lee Bugs, Red, Epitaphy, Siri Celeste. Thank you so much, everybody who came by. Thank you, Gwen, for the raid. Mimi for the raid. <clears throat> 
Blight for um, continuing your sub from Prime to Tier 1. Thank you so, 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 so much. Oh, Shrippy for the raid as well. Wow. Thank you, gamers. All the love and support today. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a good night. Be safe, you too. Have a good sleep, you too, Blight. Yeah, it's been a long day for you, Shrimp. Go get some rest. Some good rest. I think we're gonna raid. I think we're gonna raid Alpaca. It's her two-year anniversary. She's doing a little 12-hour subathon. We love Paka. She's a god gamer. Alpaca. Mm-hmm. Ethereal alpaca, even. <laughs> you want an alpaca farm so bad? They're so cute. She's got two hours left. Looks like she's in the Elden DLC, just in the beginning. Fighting that fucking fucked up lion thing. Hate that thing. <laughs> Getting through the... Through the edge. The edge. <clears throat> Okay, your raid messages. First one, if you aren't subbed. Second one, if you are subbed. Dancing lion, more like dancing, uh, dancing camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you meant chimera at first, and I was like, well, yeah, it's probably is a chimera because it's like a mix of so many things. But no, you, you definitely meant camera. You definitely meant camera. That's so funny. There, am I spelling this right? Think so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just got a snippet of the stream. Yeah. Oh yeah. Camera fucking all over the place. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you for all the new friends today. And I will be back. Sheesh, I'll be back tomorrow. We're doing community day tomorrow. I'm not sure what games we're going to be playing. Probably some Jackbox, probably some Gardic Phone, maybe some Fall Guys. And uh, I'll be back around 2 p.m. PST, same time that I started today. And uh, yeah, we'll play some fun games together, have some gaming time. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see y'all very, very soon. Um, have fun with Paka. Have a good night. Sleep well. Um, take care. Stay safe. Be kind to yourselves and everyone that you meet. You never know what someone's going through. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Mwah. And if I don't see you tomorrow, have a great start to your week. And I love you all very much. Good night, good night, good night.